So let's go ahead and get started. So I am playing uh, more subscriber lists today. Um, this is my last week off before SCG Syracuse next weekend, so next week will be legacy content. But for now, we're going to finish up on the subscriber deck lists for, um, I believe, so far this month and one of them from last month. But um, yeah, we're going to play some Popper. Uh, this is my debut into Popper. I have not played Popper in stream before. Um, in fact, I've played very little Popper in my life. I've played uh, a little bit of Blue Red Delver. Um, I had that as a deck to play going into oof, the SCG Con where there was a Popper Classic. I owned Blue Red Delver back when that was like the best deck to be playing. Um, this is before Foil was printed, which obviously has shaken the format up a lot. That card's pretty powerful. Um, but I haven't really played like a Popper event since since before like basically blue red delver and mono blue delver were the best decks my impression now just glancing through it looks like there's a lot of uh, like this red white aggro deck and there's a lot of um blue black delver which i've heard blue black delver is just kind of the dominant deck in the format but uh, i don't really know so it looks like inside out combo doesn't really exist anymore and that was kind of a fringe deck that was played i'm trying to remember affinity isn't really around the last arnold thank you very much for the follow i appreciate it the best Gaunt Gain. Hey, man, I enjoyed the article on Nexus Gates. Took it to my RPTQ. One win from top eight. Really enjoyed playing it. Hey, that's good to hear, Gonk. That's good to hear. Uh, the deck's really good. I've had a few people message me about playing it at the Pro Tour, so hopefully we'll see some good performances at the Pro Tour from Gates. But I really appreciate your support. Um, anyways, so we're going to try playing some Popper. I can, like, go through the choices in the deck, but I don't actually know, like, any of the metagaming uh, calls for the deck. So I'm just going to kind of briefly discuss what's in the deck and my impression of it. So, diving right in, we got uh, Ash Barons and four Evolving Wilds. Those pair with the Brainstorm to make, you know, so where you have uh, Brainstorm plus Fetch. Um, also help fix your mana a little bit in Popper. You don't really have great dual lands. They all come in tapped. So, being able to grab either either source of mana while feeling, making your Brainstorms better by being able to shuffle after a Brainstorm is really powerful. Um, playing a billion islands. This is obviously for the card Foil um, and Gush. So both of these require you to have islands in play for you to discard them or pick them up. Usually pick them up, then discard them. Um, and so you want to have access to a lot of islands. Um, why they're snow-covered is beyond me. I don't see anything like Scred or anything like that. So I, I don't actually know why they're snow-covered, but they are. And so we have snow-covered islands, snow-covered swamps. Um, obviously the swamps are important for casting the very few black cards that are in your deck. Um, I'm guessing primarily Exhum because we're trying to cycle this guy. So yeah, we're probably... I don't know how we're getting this in the graveyard, but... Um, that's, that's to be figured out, I suppose. Um, continue on the cantrips, to round out the cantrip sweep, we got four ponders and, uh, four preordains. These are typically better than Brainstorm in the format because the fetch lands of this format are much worse, and Brainstorm gets pretty bad if you don't have a bunch of fetch lands. Um, you have Disfigure, this is for the aggro decks, like I said, you're gonna see a lot of cheap removal, I think, because of these aggro decks that you see in the format. Um... You see main deck Graveyard Aid? I don't actually know why that's in the deck. All of them cycle, so they kind of function as another cantrip. And, like, I guess they're pretty good with your exhumes at keeping your opponent from reanimating something that matters. But other than that, that seems pretty aggressive. Like, I don't know. I feel like if our opponents are reanimating something we care about, then we shouldn't just be playing a reanimator deck to begin with. But what do I know? So, I guess these are, these are cyclers that also keep them from reanimating something big that we care about. Um, Augur Bullis, this, I mean, it's just a good value card. It finds us all of our uh, value-oriented cards. It finds us Gush, finds us our cantrips, can find us counterspells and days and foil. So it can, like, it's just a good blocker, very good against aggro decks. Like, if there's a bunch of X1s running around, it's pretty good against those. And it's a two-for-one by being able to find another spell. So it kind of makes sense cards in the deck. Uh, this card's been played in Popper a lot, and it was played a lot in the Blue Red Delver deck back when you had uh, the Ninjutsu guy to pick it up. Uh, days, I mean, one of the best, uh, counter spells in the format. I forgot to mention this when I was talking about why there's a billion islands in this deck, but here's another card that cares about you having a billion islands. Uh, it's just good counter spell, good tempo card. And I assume that we're pretty quick of a deck. Like if we're playing days, then we want to be probably powering out our exhum and protecting it with days. So, um, I guess that also fuels foil. So you can kind of get in counter war with your island that you pick up and discard, but uh, yeah, four days seems aggressive, and this deck seems like it's trying to go over the top of what our opponents are doing, but I guess we're just trying to be a pretty aggressive, aggressive Exhumed deck, because we just have these, like, five fives, we're not really anything, like, huge, like, Ulamog's Crusher or anything like that. 
Uh, Echoing Decay, another removal spell. This one grabs all of the ones with the same name, though, so it disfigures for one more mana, but it grabs all of them. So whatever that has the same name, if there's tokens for whatever, it just grabs it all. Pretty sweet include. I like I like the split. Uh, Exhum, kind of talked about that card a little bit. We are a blue-black reanimator deck, so here's your reanimation, here's your targets. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we're reanimating stuff. That's what we're doing. Uh, oh, we can discard stuff like this. Yeah, okay. Foil, foil fuels our graveyard for Exhum. Oh, man, I'm putting all this together on the spot. Snuff out. Uh, it's a pretty good removal spell. If you control Swamp, you can pay for life rather than pay its mana cost. That's probably what you're going to be using most of the time. You can pay for mana and just blow their thing up, but um, being able to pay for life and just like operate off of very few lands is very valuable in a deck like this that probably wants to stop at two mana. Like Actual lands in play, you're probably stopping at two since you have cards like Gush and Daze to pick up the lands and foils to discard them. You're, you're going to get your power in this deck out of just having very few lands, just kind of like a Delver deck would, except there's no Delvers. Um... Foil, kind of talked about this card a lot. This card warped Popper a lot, to my knowledge. And it pairs very well with Gush being able to pick up two islands. By itself, Gush very well feels Foil very well. And so that means that um, they, they're they a good pair. They're, they go together very well. And uh, they're good at protecting your creatures. They're good at keeping your lands, your, uh, lands into relevant things. Like, if you flood out, you can turn your lands into relevant cards. There you go. That's kind of what I was trying to articulate. Um, so yeah, my Foil makes sense. Gush is broken. This card's like... I, in my opinion, should be banned from Popper. It's really sweet. I like it a lot, but man, this card's broken. Um, it's been banned and unbanned from Vintage a million times. The cards are still broken. Uh, free draw two that picks up two islands just does a lot. You can do a lot with more cards in hand that you've gotten use out of. So, Gush is broken. Uh, kind of question not playing four because the card's so broken, but what? who am I? Who am I to really judge? I didn't put this deck together. This is a subscriber deck list. Uh... Gurmag, uh, this one we don't reanimate it as often. This one's kind of designed to fuel, like, like Foil puts three cards in the graveyard, and that helps cast Gurmag Angler pretty easily. Um, we can actually just discard our Gurmag, though, to our Foil and then reanimate it, so that's a neat little trick. But other than that, I guess they don't really get in the graveyard. Uh, Striped Riverwinder is the card that does get in the graveyard. It cycles for one blue, so it, we're probably going to be cycling this every time. You know, having seven mana is just not realistic, so we're just cycling this card every time, trying to reanimate it and keep them from reanimating the matters. There's our plan. We'll see how we'll see how that goes. Talk about the cyborg real quick. Um, Cartouche of Ambition. I've seen this card a lot. It just like gives life link and kills X ones. It seems like that's probably pretty good against like the burn style decks or the aggro decks that are going around. Maybe you can kill a creature and like give your big creature life link. We have big five fives that would love to have life link. I'm sure, uh, and that that'll make a burn matchup pretty good. Diabolic Edict, I assume this is for killing big creatures that, you know, they, they may have access to if they have bigger creatures than us. Being able to have them sacrifice them is pretty good. Excuse me. Um, Piracy Charm, I have no idea what is in our deck. It does kill X1s. One of the many things that kills X1s in the sideboard, but uh, it also maybe can give something Island Walk and make them discard a card. I don't, I don't really know why this is in our deck. It's <laughs> just... This, uh, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. If I want something that kills X1, this is probably coming in. Otherwise, I don't really know where else this is going to be coming in. Uh, Echoing Truth bounces everything with the same name. This is also pretty good against tokens. Like, if they're going to make a lot of tokens, then it's pretty good against that. It uh, can also bounce things like Delve Spells. So, like, if you can bounce a Grimag Angler, that always feels pretty good. Bouncing your own Grimag Angler sucks, but that's okay. You, <laughs> you take the L's where, where, where they are. Uh, Nausea kills a lot of X1s. We have no X1s, so it doesn't really affect us at all. It's just a two-mana sweeper for a bunch of X1s, so this also kind of picks up a lot of X1 tokens and kills a lot of X1 creatures. Like I said, our sideboard kills a lot of X1s. Kills a lot of tokens, kills a lot of X1s. I assume those matchups must be bad matchups or we wouldn't have all this stuff on our sideboard for it. Um, rounding out the sideboard, we have four copies of Hydra Blast. The Blasts have always been really popular in this format, and if Burn's popular, well, this is one of your best cards you can have. It basically says uh, Vindicate or just Counter Spell for one mana, and so that's that's a pretty uh, pretty powerful effect that's hard to pass up on. Uh, Dispel counters instance if there's like Counter Wars I'm interested in. Like I'd probably want it in the mirror where there's like Gush and like a bunch of instants that like we probably want to fight over. There's probably Counter Wars going on, so I'd probably want it in, like the mirror style matchups. Um, maybe against blue, black Delver, I'll want it too, but that's just like my thoughts on the card. And last but not least, a uh, null. Counters artifacts or enchantments. In blue, black, it's hard to have access to anything that really affects artifacts and enchantments at all. We have Echoing Truth and we have a null, and that's like kind of what we got. So I assume, I assume this is kind of our, these are our naturalizes. It's just trying to keep it from hitting play to begin with. <laughs> all right, and that's about it. Let's see, let's see if we can actually run through a league. Um, I've heard the Q times can be a pretty bad, but... Uh, we'll just do friendly. We were friendly out here. Plus, there's more people in the friendly one, and I value that a lot. I don't want to sit in this queue forever. All right. 
Hopefully, hopefully everyone got something out of that. I, I'm probably going to look pretty dumb playing Popper. I'll lie to you guys. I don't know what subscriber may be playing, but here we are. Antitoxins, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it the best. Oh, I also missed a follow from uh, Emma Yeevee. Oh, they just like, they staggered wrong. Okay. Emma Yeevee, thank you very much for the follow. I hope I said your name right. Please don't hate me if I didn't. <laughs> You're the best. All right. Maiden Voyage into Popper. Um, Popper's like a sweet format that I wish had a little bit more support. Like, SCG had a Popper Classic in uh, the first SCG con, I believe. And it was really popular. Hot popular. Anyways, it, uh, it was really popular. And I feel like it just kind of trailed off. Like, maybe the sales weren't good enough or whatever. But I feel like that format just kind of died out. I mean, it didn't help that Wizards kind of just stopped caring about it as soon as Arena came out. They started caring about, like arena formats as the way for people to get into magic um but i think that popper has a lot of potential people really like being having access to really sweet formats that have old cards in them that are cheap and so being able to like do all that seems like there's a lot of draw to the format it seems like basically if there was going to be a future of legacy it would kind of be in popper like if you're going to have like a format where cards from all the way back to alpha are legal it would that is like reasonable to be sustainable it should be popper right because like this you solve a lot of the problems legacy has with uh barrier of entry and you still have a lot of really sweet gameplay so um it's, it's a format i would like to see more of but just like it isn't really played that much we're approaching minute number two of q time hopefully this doesn't get too bad put a lot of work to do this together i really want to be able to play a full league for you guys but hopefully there'll be enough players in the queue that we can find somebody we found somebody we're owning we're owning. My opponent is two and one. Would you like to play first? I would love to. That means they probably know what they're doing. 16 land deck. This is going to happen sometimes. It's interesting there's no Gataxian probe in my Gurmag Angler uh, deck, but maybe there's just not room for it. Anyway, this is pretty clear mulligan. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is such a bad start. We have a foil. We can counter nothing because we still don't have an island. All right, let's mull. A land? No land. I gotta wonder, at what point do we just, like, keep no lands? Probably here. All right, put on top. Keeping a no lander started off. It's interesting. I played a lot of Grixis Delver back in the days, and uh, having no lands, no landers eh, across uh, multiple mulligans was not something that happened very often in Delver. All right, let's... Good cycle. I don't know why, like, I did that main phase, but, like, I was going to ponder and decided to cycle. Oh, no. Bounce lands. All right. They're going to gain a lot of life. Um, I'm going to ponder, try to find a second land. Um, these are all good. We want all these lands, I think. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So we can cycle the other Riverwinder and we can try to fire off an Exhum next turn and put a Riverwinder into play. Which is pretty good. Prophetic Prism. You got it. I, I don't actually know what deck this is. I, like, I know there's a Tron deck out there that plays Prophetic Prism, but like this has Bounce Lands in it. And I can't imagine you're putting Bounce Lands in your Tron deck. So I assume this is going to be some kind of big mana-ish strategy if there's Prophetic Prism, but it remains to be seen. Draw the ponder. Uh, we don't have a good way to shuffle, so I'm just going to ponder. Try to pick up some counterspell backup or something. Uh, that's not bad. I think I like all these cards. I'm just going to put all these on top. These, these are all like a bunch of two-for-ones that will hopefully help us recoup the card disadvantage we have from not... Uh, from mulliganing to like four or whatever we did. Well, we did a thing! We reanimated a Striped Riverwinder. If that's part of our plan, we did it. We're playing against red and white cards. Let's see what they got. They got a Sky Fisher. Okay. And this is not, maybe not a big mana strategy then. It's just some kind of value thing where you pick up your Prophetic Prism and replay it and draw a bunch of cards. Sure. I guess I'm here for it. Um, we know there's a Preordain on top. I think I'm just going to go to combat and see what they want to do. They've gained a bunch of life already. 
So, like, the first hit doesn't even really put them very far below their initial starting life total. I could auger and then use... use uh, I mean, I could brainstorm and then use auger to clear it. That's kind of nice. Might do that. I'm going to brainstorm. Yeah, I can put back two lands and then, like, use auger to clear it. Even if I miss on a spell, we're all right. Or I could just, like, put the Pyridian back and grab it. And like shuffle away one of these shuffle away one of these lands. I think I think I'm more interested to do that. Like, it prices my auger into hitting preordain. I think, but yeah, like I'd rather I'd rather guarantee the hit, and I still want to like pseudo shuffle away stuff. So it also lets me cast this preordain too. It's fresh. The foil's nice. We don't have any islands in hand because I played it. Looking for ways to pick up my lands. But this does allow me to... I can just hard cast this, which is, like, not unreasonable, I think. We're, we're dealing with pretty low power level stuff, so... <laughs> Four mana. Is this some kind of sleeper? What is this? Put two birds. Tap three and tap. So you just get to, like, put a bunch of birds into play. Echoing Decay, I guess, is the card of the hour now. Looking for that. Cannot cast this. Gain more life. Can attack for six. That's a ponder. All right. So we can go looking for the Echoing Decay to try to beat a bunch of birds. Or we can hold up just like Counterspell, hope that we win the race. If they have another like set of birds, we're probably not well off. I think we found the deck with a bunch of X ones. Put them to 15. I think I'm going to cast Ponder. Snuff out. Gush. Brainstorm. Well. Man. Top. Top. I don't think there's any way we're pitching a Gush. Hmm. The question is, do we want Snuff out and Brainstorm? I don't think we do. So, in that case, I'm just supposed to play Augur, I think. This is kind of like spewing a lot of my cards, but with Gush plus Foil back up, I think we're pretty all right. There's a Grimag Angler. Any order. Um, question is, are we go ever going to want this one extra mana? I don't think we are, so I'm going to deploy this Nihil Spell Bomb. Plan to draw a card with it later. What are you doing? Lightning Bolts, what? Me? Lightning Bolt face. You got it. Don't really have a good way to gain life in the main deck. They have six power in the air right now. Uh, but we have seven on the ground. So I think we're going to win if this race continues as is. That's pretty good. I'm not countering that. We, I'm going to counter something bigger. But that is that is a pretty good card to have here. It's like blocks five damage pretty nicely. And cycles. So it's basically a gain five that cycles. That's fine. Pick up a Radiant Fountain. Try to win this race. All of these plays make sense. Once again, if we can find Echoing Decay, I feel pretty good. But there's only one in our main deck, and like finding it is going to be likely a challenge. Alright, let's just draw Exhume. That puts another 5-5 five five into play. Oh, that's probably the best thing we can do with our man on this turn. Even though we're not just dead in one, we can like, it gives us another turn to try to find everything. Alright, let's go to combat. Maybe. No, if they if they chop, then I don't want them getting it back. So I should just exhume now. Man, they have so many chump blockers. This race is this race is gonna be a hard one to win. Boop. I think getting this into play is advantageous for us though. Boop. Target all creatures. Thinking about gushing second main since like I can replay one island, but yeah, I think I think I'm gonna gush. Since we can replay an island and hold the other one for uh, foil, oh we can brainstorm. That's so good. Brainstorm. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay, 
That does stuff. This all does things. I need to hold one island in my hand, so I'm going to put one back. I want to cast this Gurmag Angler pretty bad. I want to cast this Cantrip too. Um, I want to hold the Gush. The Augur helps us find stuff. Maybe the Gurmag Angler is just not important. I feel like it forces them to chump, though. But I think we're pretty all in on trying to find an Echoing Decay or some removal at all. So... I don't know, maybe the auger is just like too slow. The auger feels really slow. Uh, still gonna put back the Gurmag Angler, I think. Alright, and then I'm going to play this and crack it. Try to find a Black Source. No Grubbin Island Island. Uh then we'll cast Purdane. We're once again digging for Echoing Decay, snuff out Ain't It Chief. Maybe like a long time ago we should have snuff out this, but we're not going to now. Right? What is that? What how does that change the math? Four, three, I'm dead and dead and two no matter what. Alright. Um Now I'm just gonna dig for the decay. I'm just gonna dig for the decay. Exhum. Alright. Well we did a lot of stuff there, but I think we're probably not going to win this game. I think we have to get pretty lucky to win this one. Being able to make just a billion tokens for four mana, basically, is pretty ridiculous. Having access to no flyers is pretty unfortunate. Uh, Radiant Fountain gaining a bunch of life is also really unfortunate. Glint Hawk. It's another flyer. Right. Return Prophetic Prism. Such value! They have Kadolfa Forge Master, I assume. Or Kadolfa Rebirth. I said Forge Master. That card would be pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. What's up, Jen? What made you decide Reanimator? My subscribers did. Rally the Peasants. I'm going to die to Rally the Peasants at any point in time. Also, what's up, Teddy? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying out Popper. I don't really know much about what's going on. I'm just trying to sequence my stuff right. Ugh. Bleh. That's so good. Why aren't we doing this? This feels so much better. Look at all this stuff they're doing. They just get to draw like infinity cards. No, I'm not even sure an Echoing Decay wins. Alright, whatever. Uh, maybe should have maybe should have foiled one of these. Actually, maybe should have foiled this. I don't really know. I don't really think another two two was really that important, but thinking about it now, I might have sh I might should have like foiled this prophetic prism on the way back down. So we attack here, here, here. They have to block. I mean, they have easy blocks here. Um, I think I'm gonna start this turn off with a gush. Feels like that's just like always the best way to lead a turn off. All right, draw me good stuff. Ding. Okay, so if we hit a snuff out off of Augur of Bolas, we can kill everything and kill them, right? Like, because we can Echoing Decay this, then we can snuff out this and we win the game. We got three snuff outs in our deck. It's a chance to win. Like, we still have a land drop, so we have exactly enough mana to do Augur, find snuff out, snuff out. Echoing Decay this. So snuff out this. Echoing Decay this. Attack. Okay. Uh, I don't really see any other lines. What's up? Bird is the word, I guess. No kidding. But you do you, boo. Uh, I'm trying, man. Popper can be fun. I want five cards banned to fix and balance the format. This sounds like modern. This sounds exactly like how people feel about modern. All right, let's find a snuff out. Snuff out. Snuff out. Snuff out. That's a snuff out. Okay. Any order. And we got counterspell backup. All right. Pay for life. Kill this. Don't shock me, bro. We might win this game after all on our mold like oblivion. All right. We got a foil too. We got foil backup and days backup for all this. Oh, they're doing stuff. Galvanic blast me. Do you have any mana floating? Uh, days, that, picking up island. 
<laughs> Got it covered, boo boo. Should have killed me when you had the chance. Actually, you never really had a chance. Yeah! <laughs> All right, I'm a professional. I'm owning. I'm so good at this game. Who doubted me? I'm a pauper professional. Wow, we're owning. This format is deep. All right, they have a bunch of X2s. Why don't I not have like a billion copies of this card in my deck? Because man, this card was, is an overperformer, to say the least. Over performer. All right, let's take a look at what this deck looks like. Is this Battle Screech? Is that what that stupid card is? Prismatic Strands gives protection. They just have a bunch of like white removal stuff. Why is this called Koldotha Boros? I don't even see Koldotha Rebirth anywhere in here. Did they like used to play Rebirth? I don't get it. Okay, what are, what are they going to have for me? Do they have Graveyard Hate? They have Relics? That's frustrating. Relic seems really good against our deck. Maybe I'm supposed to bring in a null for that reason. I think I actually am supposed to bring in a null. Uh, Piracy Charm, is this card good? Unblockable is nice. This card actually seems really good. And so does this card. Maybe this card. I think these are the, su the subset of cards I want. For sure. Uh, Snuff Out actually seems really, really, really bad. Despite the fact it won the game there, I think that card is, on average, going to be terrible. Uh, they don't really put stuff in their graveyard, so maybe we don't need derelicts. Like, all their cards are mopey. Like, they're not going to have bigger stuff than we are. So I think I just want to cut all of these. Cartouches and nausea's, Yeah, I think I want that for sure. No, for real. There's a real problem, but you can't just ban one card. The format crumbles to one deck. Gush, the three Monarch cards, and Ghostly Flicker. Ghostly Flicker is an odd one. Also, what's up, Turnus Wreck? How goes it, brother? Oh, sister. I said brother, just as like a... Whatever the term is. As a friendly greeting. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how good this figure is. It's not really like a sweeperish style card. I have one more cut I need to make, and I don't really know what I want to cut. Foil doesn't seem awesome. There's not a ton of things I'm looking to just like super counter. Their, their deck seems really counterspell resilient. So I think I'm going to cut one foil. I think I'm just going to submit this, unless you guys have anything to say. Good! That's good. That's good. Alright, let's try this. If it sucks, blame... Blame Jason. He's in the he's in the chat. Blame him. <laughs> Nausea is sweet. The thing with Nausea is it doesn't kill Glidhawks, and it looks like their plan is to, like, Glidhawk us a lot. Ancient Den. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. That's really sweet. That works really, really well with the, uh, what's it called? What's the word? The Glenhawk. Uh, I think I'm going to preordain. Interesting. I think I just don't really want either of these very much. Yeah, I, just really, I don't really want either of these. Oh, God. I really don't want that either. All right. Next turn, my plan is Cycle plus Evolving Wilds. If we draw a Brainstorm, that's like probably the best possible draw in the deck. What does this thing do? I'm just about to draw a card. Sack it. Target creature can't attack or block this turn. The card's actually like really good. What the hell? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this. Grab this. And pass. Probably shouldn't have... I don't know, I was, I was thinking about pondering there, and I decided that, like, I was going to cycle this for sure, because if we hit Exhume, the upside's so high. Alright, what do we got? Skyfisher. I really don't like this card. I kind of want to just daze this. I think I am going to daze this. Cycle this. Gush. Ooh. Alright, yeah, I'm going to daze this. They don't have the mana, right? I don't look like a big idiot. I do not. Makes sense that they were doing that to, like, wait to replay their land. Um, now they have something to get back with our reanimation spell, but we don't have a reanimation spell, so I'm not super concerned about it. Uh, boop. Ponder. Let's see what we got. Oh, now we have a reanimation spell. Go figure. Man, I feel stupid! Hmm. I mean, I'm still gonna leave it. We can We can do something about this later. Kind of sucks that, like, I wanted to keep the early pressure off, which is the whole reason to uh, to counter that. But, like, 
I was thinking, like, I was equally likely to draw a Gurmag or an Exhum, and a Gurmag is, like, definitely better. That might have been a merit for just shuffling, actually, there. Just shuffling that, uh... I actually gain a bunch of life. Shuffling that Ponder, because I was planning to draw a Gurmag Angler, which I bottomed and then shuffled. Uh... I think I'm supposed to fetch a black source with this so I can double nausea to kill, like, kill the Glint Hawk plus anything else they make. Like, being able to just, like, it's still going to be a two for two. Well, this will cycle, but, like, if they can put other things into play, it'll be pretty good. Um, so I'm going to fetch, I'm going to go ahead and fetch a black source here. Black. Ponder. Cartouche of Ambition. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Top, top, top. Nope. Nope. Now I'm going to Cartouche of Ambition instead. Well, I'm going to, across the next two turns, I'm going to exhume the Riverwinder back into play. Cartouche of Ambition, this core Skyfisher, and then double nausea them. That is my plan for the course of this game. They're going to gain a bunch of life. I don't really care. Um, what matters is surviving long enough to be able to put Cartouche of Ambition. Like, I need to survive the next three turns. Which I think we're going to be able to do without much, much trouble. Um, island. I want to bottom this island that's on top of my deck. So, I'm going to go ahead and cast this. Also, just inform, like, whether or not I want to exhume. Days. I think that card's pretty well expired. Ponder again. Alright. He offered it up. Riverwinder. Augur, Augur. It's pretty nice. Uh, sure. I'll just top everything. And, like, I can use I can use Augurs to get rid of... Uh, to get rid of... The second winder if I don't want it. Alright, let's exhume. Put my Riverwinder into play. <laughs> Alright, what'd you guys say? Only one deck completely dies from those bands and the rest of the power's down. I'm usually against bands. Catching black seems correct. They get to pick up their stuff. They get to draw cards. I'm, I'm pretty fine with them drawing cards. Um, I think this like little combo is going to run away with the game. So, if it doesn't, that's really bad, <laughs> obviously. But if... Um, I, I do think that like this is powerful enough to run away at the game. They only have an attack for four here, which is really good. It keeps us from being on a three turn. Galvanic Blast me. You have two Galvanic Blasts? Three Galvanic Blasts is what it would take? All right, I guess I need to find a foil. Let's... Well, no, I know the next two cards. Oh, well. Man, triple Galvanic Blast. How about them apples? My combo was too slow. It's actually unfortunate, because I really wanted to see how that would have played out. Because I think we had a decent chance of just, like, straight up winning the game there. Um, I still don't think that's a reason to bring Graveyard Hate back in. Though this figure is pretty mopey. Oh, my eyeballs. Uh, hmm. This figure does take out an early Glint Hawk, though. Maybe I want foil back in my deck. Day seems pretty good on the play. I'm just gonna foil. I'm gonna cut a Days, put a foil back in my deck. I feel like they're gonna play around Days. They saw it on the draw. They're probably likely to play around it more. Boop. Love to play first. Sand seems fantastic. Plant Island, cycle this. Um. Then maybe I'm supposed to ponder. Set up my next few draws. I'm going to ponder. Gurmag Angler, Gurmag Angler, Island. In the order, shuffle. Evolving Wilds. It's not shabby. I think I think I just want to make sure I hit my second land there with that ponder. And now I'm going to very likely just use this Evolving Wilds. Whoa. Well, I can't really beat that card, so... We're going to counter it. <laughs> I do not beat that card very well. Boop. As a reanimator deck. To another island. Pretty happy to just cycle striped Riverwinder. 
Trying to, I'm going to try to set up for an exhum across the next three turns. I'm hoping that I'm hoping that was a big reason they kept their hand, given that their hand hasn't done anything else. Uh, would like to brainstorm here. Question is whether I want to use this evolving wilds. Ugh. I don't really need a black source either way, so I have to crack it now. I think. And then I'm going to use preordain to try to find exhum. Disfigure Gurmag Angler. I don't think I want this. I do think I want this. All right, go. What do we got? We got five cards in the graveyard, so I can cast it next turn. Oh, no. Uh, I can daze it and hope they don't have anything. All right, whatever. Tiff, what's going on, girl? Thank you very much for the raid. How was your stream? I watched a little bit of it. You were killing it with the Pokemans. <laughs> Oh no! Damn it! I guess we can still cast Gurmag Angler, right? That seems pretty good. Apply the matching islands. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Surprise! Should have cracked your relic. Got him. We put this thing into play anyway. We have foil backup, so we're doing good. We win, right? This is just like this is this is just like Legacy Delver. We got our Force of Will. We got our days, and we got all this stuff. Ugh. Ugh. Kind of want to counter this. I don't really have much else going on. Nah. Feels like a trap to counter. Feels like a trap. What's going on, Tiff? I beat all the gyms and just have the Elite Four to battle. Nice. You're owning. You're a Pokemon professional. That game actually looks super sweet. I think this is a pretty easy daze. Boop. Boop. Not really interested in getting raced. That's the beginning of how we get raced. So, no thank you. Uh, okay, you can exile it. It's gone. I promise. <laughs> Kettle Croc, thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it the best. Striped Riverwinder. I kind of want to set up like an exhum thing, but like, if I cycle it and, they, and I don't hit the exhum, then I feel dumb. So I guess I'm just going to hold it. Uh, pretty interested to just auger plus ponder here, I think. Hmm. Yeah, we can't cast Cartouche this turn, which is probably one of the only things I would be interested in doing. So I think I'm just going to Augur plus Ponder. Yeah. Okay. A Null Day's Echoing Truth. Wowza. Wowza, wowza. I guess we'll take Echoing Truth. Island. Let's just cast a Ponder. Man, look at all these cards. They're doing so well. We start holding up hardcast foils to just try to tempo them out of this game. I really don't want this Ash Barons, though, and there's no real good way to get rid of it. I guess there's an auger. That's good enough. Top. 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 Nope. Alright. Go. I'm glad your stream, glad your stream was fun. Did you watch any of the Twitch rivals, Tiff? More cycling for a billion mana. Make me exile something, it's gone. I think they should crack this. Like, I'm not, clearly not really doing much with my uh, graveyard right now. Hmm. Foil. Combat. Uh, I'm kind of aware that they can... Um, they can block here and Galv Blast this. That's just something they have access to at basically any point in time. Um, so it's kind of something we just need to be aware of. Uh, I think I'm going to play an Augur. Maybe we should have done this pre-combat because if I hit this figure, there's a chance I wanted to disfigure this, but that's fine. Um, I don't really think that's actually what I'm trying to do with it. Ooh, all right, we'll hit our Nausea. That's, that's good insurance. It's good insurance. We no longer have an island for foils, but we're planning on holding them up anyway. And we have a... Why is it, like, grayed out? We have an, uh, a strike waiver under try to hit an island. Yeah, I think I'm happy with how this is playing out. Like, basically just to use this as four mana counter spell for the rest of the game. Mother effing popper! That's not a lot of damage. No, it is not. In fact, they're just gaining a lot of life. That's what they do. <laughs> That's a lot of life gain. 
All right, let's untap. Another Gurmag Angler. That one seems hard to cast. All right, should cycle this and stuff. I'll cycle it on there and stuff. Can't attack or block. You got it. That seems like a play that you can legally make. Does not seem very good. Um, so now on in step, we are actually going to cycle this. My potato self is not really going to miss that again. Faithless looting. Fine with that. Not really sure what their plan is with looting. I didn't even know they played this in Popper. Is this is this a, is this a holdover from Modern? Just like, move through your deck, try to find relevant cards. Faithless looting, cast a flashback. Deal! <laughs> I'm not clicking on that link, Rob. It's not happening. Oh. Yeah, I watched the first few rounds. Looked titty. It was. Oh, Liddy. Liddy titty. It was both Liddy and titty. Those greats. I love I love Twitch Rivals things. I, I wish they would do it with like semi frequency. It seems like it's just like kinda random when that comes up. Oh no, exile it. You got it. It's gone. Looking to draw an island. That's not an island. Island. Alright, well now our now our foils are free. Which means maybe I can cast this ponder. Uh I can play Island Ponder. Just like try to build this seven mana to hard cast Gurmag. Kind of a plan. Let's go to combat first, see what's up. See what my opponent thinks is up. We can just hold the Gurmag to discard to a foil. That's probably just correct. We're just going to like beat them down with this. Call it a day. Let's just hold the Ponder. I really feel like I'm not advancing anything if I just hold this Ponder though. Uh, well, I'm trying to get lands, right? Alright, alright. We're just I'm just doing whatever. This is, this is my stream. I do what I want. We're gonna try to find another island off of this ponder. Ooh, Cartouche of Ambition. Well, don't mind if I do. I like all these cards. Right? I think I like all these cards. No. All right. We just get to hold up foil now. If they like go to make three one ones or whatever, we're just like foil it. Gain a million life. That's fine. This is gone. Uh, they can attack. They elect wisely not to attack. Very interesting. Um, I think I'm going to try to find another island. If I find an island, I'm going to play Cartouche. If I don't find an island, I'm not going to play Cartouche. Basically as simple as that. Don't have a shuffle effect, so any order. I have six minutes left. I should play pretty quickly. <laughs> That's kind of like an island. Crap. All right, well, I have to hold up. I have to hold up Hardcast Foil, so... Need to hurry up. I've taken way too long. This format's really sweet. So here I am. Taking way too long. They probably have the Gal Blast is what this means. Prismatic Strands. Fred all damage. Tap an untapped white creature. Alright, sure. What do you say? Blue or black? I guess you say black. Just fog it for a turn. I'm cool with that. Uh, go. Gonna have to, like I said, gonna have to play a lot faster. What's up, Notorious BZA and Brad Bergmos? Look at all these. I'm so popular. All right. Boop. Foil that. All right. If they have another Gal Blast, I feel pretty dumb. Well, now I feel really dumb. Uh-oh. That's all right. We have five lands in play. If they don't crack this Relic, we can just play the second Gurmag next turn. That's fine. We'll just get rid of a foil. I feel like they're going to crack soon. I don't know. feels like it makes sense to crack soon. But what do I know? I'm bad at this game. Prophetic Prism. Makes sense. And no attacks, eh? No attacks, eh? Exhume. That's pretty frustrating. One, two, three, four, five... Esker Mag, six, seven. Pay all the manas. Make the thing. Uh, I guess I'll put this into play. Doesn't do me any good to attack, so I'm just going to pass. Let's put the counter on a thing, right? Yeah, cool. So we can make the fissure really tiny. T 
Teeny tiny. The fact they like have let me cast two Gurmag Anglers under a Relic of Progenitus seems really absurd to me. Boop, an island. I'm owning. All right, black cartouche of ambition. Put it on this thing. They have they have the protection spell still, so they have it for one more turn. But I don't think that matters. All right, trying to time me out here, homie. It's gonna work. I promise it'll work. All right, target all creatures. Could just play the island. Hold up, hard cast. <laughs> hard cast foil. All right, and then you flash back the thing. What are we doing? Yep. Go! Do not gain six life. Do not pass go. Do not collect a million dollars. That's fine. Could have maybe like Echoing Truth. The relic earlier this game, but I just really wanted to pick up tokens. Like now I'm probably gonna pick up some skyfishers on instep or whatever. Like on an instep before they actually die. Um they do they still have an artifact, so that's fine. Oh no. What you doing? Prismatic omen. I don't know how many of that strands card they play, but we probably have to counter the next one. Just force them out of it. Huh, brainstorm. Sure. Thinking on the brainstorm. Fair. It's a Brad. Why'd you time out Brad? Brad's great. You guys, what did you guys do to my chat? Pyroblast it. You got it. That's fine. I don't care that much about the brainstorm. I promise. Okay. I feel like I'm pretty locked to win this game. It's just a question of can they stall long enough for me to actually win this game? Kind of feels what this game's about. Combat. What you got? What you got there, opponent? Because I have an abyss. But that's like all I got. <laughs> what is this? Print all damage. Alright, yeah, whatever. Fine. I have a second Gurmagging little play this turn. 6 7. Yeah, I have exactly enough mana. Why are you doing this? Okay. What am I missing here? You're going to deal damage to it? That's fine. Uh, you accomplished a lot there. Uh, boop. Here's the second Gurmag Angler. And then we have Foil Backup, Lightning Bolts, my Gurmag Angler. Uh, Scarred Island and Exhum. All right, now we can safely F6. Would you pyroblast it? That's fine. We have a second Gurmag Angler. I'm owning. I don't have another foil. Surprise. Riverwinder. Can I cast this yet? Seven mana? Nope. Five. Put you to five. That seemed like a mistake. Uh, cycle this. If I can hit an exhum, we should exhum main phase. Cannot hit an exhum. Of course, hit the land to cast it. Just truly a thing of a thing of beauty. This makes you tap an untapped one, right? You go to seven. It's fine. Uh, boop gush. It's pretty good. Oh no! Ah! Trying to play quickly. All right, exhum. That's pretty good. They have nothing in the graveyard, right? Yep, cool. Boop. Put a riverwinder back into play. Boop. Preordain. Try to find a counter spell. Second nausea is big, right? 
top, top, um, combat, five, let's see, if they take this, I think they might just die. Yeah, I think they're dead. Like, the double nausea just means they're just dead, right? With the Echoing Truth and step pick up core, core Fisher dudes. Oh, they just conceded. Man! Jeez! Two minutes to their 14. This deck is hard, and I'm bad. All right, sorry, Chad. I had to ignore you guys a little bit. Emma V, just side with bread and earn that time out. Bread is great and Rudy is slander. We'll have to get, we'll have to get Brad, a, Brad a sword. I haven't modded anybody in a while. Here you go, Brad. Have a sword. Make Rudy's life awful. How do I mod you? I don't know. Hopefully that worked. Oh no. Why would it actually let me stop interacting? Oh no! I'm just gonna add friend. Cancel request. Why will this not let me stop looking? Oh no, I broke it. I broke it, chat. I think this happened, this exact thing happened to Newmont just a second ago. Where, like, I tried to interact with somebody in the chat and it broke. There we go. Don't make Brad a mod, that's toxic. Fair. All right, fine, I won't. Brad's great, though. Brad or whatever. There's no gate payoff in Popper. What the fuck? That's true. That's true. Well, that's not true. One of them is a common, right? Come on. Is one of them not a common? Is Archway Angel not a common? All right, let's, I need to look this up. Like, come on. The, the Ram. Somebody. Somebody has to be a common. One of you gate payoff cards has to be a common. Nope. Is there really none? Gate breaker ram? Come on, ram. Ram you boy. There right, yeah, I'll play you. Oh my gosh. This is awful. I can't play Gates and Popper. This is terrible. Ugh. This is so bad. Yeah, right, let's mulligan it. F it! God, this hand sucks too. Keep. Echoing Decay. This card, this card was real good in the last match. Maybe I'm supposed to keep it. I mean, I'm fetching turn one anyway, right? Bottom of it. Play my island. Pass the turn. We're going to basic land cycle this for a swamp. This maybe I should have left it because there's a chance to like draw it if it's like going to be insane in the matchup. The Burn... Burn Sosaurus. Sosaurus. <laughs> yeah, the Ram sure as hell ain't a common. Yeah, I think it's like the best of them in limited anyway, so it makes sense, but I guess I should have left it. Whatever. Some mana's gonna be good. That's not a Riverwinder. Uh, let's play an Augur. Everyone's playing this, like, silly deck. It was kind of neat to play against the first time, but I'm beginning to get the, the feeling that it is not terribly fun to play against afterwards. Like, a lot. Because, like, it is, like, really grindy. It's kind of dopey. Yeah, I guess everyone's just playing this deck. Sure. We're going to try to beat multiple rounds of white-red stuff. Better to introduce me to Hot Mulligan in Connection. What is that? We played Gates before KTK lands were printed. <laughs> Yikes. I guess, yeah, the, the Gain Life lands are just strictly better than Guild Gates, so you played Guild Gates in case you just, like, had something to care about Guild Gates. Ta. I think it's Blueback Delver. That's a good matchup for us. All right. Well, because this matchup doesn't seem great. So it's nice to hear that there's some good matchups in this format. <sighs> Am I supposed to ponder here? Like an Evolving Wilds to shuffle. I think my plan is going to be ponder. This figure's a nice one, actually. Top. I don't really want the snuff out, but I want the period in the disfigure. No. Um, so I should play this island and then play Relic. Means I'm going to need to pick up some, some lands later. 
because I played this island. But I think that's okay. Our deck has plenty of ways to do that. And, like, they Glidhawked their land, so, like, Daisies could be better against them than it other would otherwise be. Oogie. Um, is there gonna be... I might get blown out for this. That's fine. Whatever you have, blow me out. I deserve it. And then I get to Relic them. Blech. Another, another slog. At least I'm, at least I'm only behind 30 seconds right now. Core Skyfisher. Yeah, that's probably gonna get snuff outed. Oop, you exile. F6. It's probably gonna get hit with our snuff out after we exhume something. Oh, that's such good value. That's such good value. Teach me the ways. Alright, let's crack this. Go grab an island. Play a preordain. Bottom this, draw this. Cast it. Augur, Augur, Snow Covered Swamp. Sure. I feel like Augur's gonna get the ball rolling. Nope. Um I guess I wait a turn and hard cast snuff out. Yeah, like, because this checks this. We're just taking two damage by waiting. So, hopefully they don't have that four mana make a bunch of tokens. That would make me really dumb. Glenhawk is pretty good. Pick up Ancient Din. Maybe I'm supposed to just snuff out. I guess it's not really worth the two life. So, I think I'm... Yeah, I guess I'm just going to snuff out. Hey, what's up? The Thank the Holy Ghost. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it the best. Right, let's go, let's go. Alright. Like, we, because we have the relic to just kind of keep this in check. We feel pretty good about this. Are you bolting my auger? Okay. I feel like that gives, like, give, makes my exhume, like, actually have a target. Like, this would be bad if I didn't have a million augers already on top of my deck. Boop. Alright. So the top card's Swamp, and I know it, so... Going to play an auger. Don't really want the swamp. That's my swamp. All right. Yeah, that's okay. Play another auger. Hope to hit a gush. Gush, please. Gushy, gushy, gushy. Ding. I'm owning. Any order. Uh, cast this. Bounce two islands. Draw two cards. That's a Gurmag Angler. Replay an island and pass. That was a pretty good turn. That was a pretty good turn. Going to, in the coming turns, we're probably going to spend one of these exhumes to bring back an auger. Just try to keep the ball rolling a little bit. Like we have multiple exhumes, so cashing them in for auger seems really good. We're going to take a million damage from this Glenthawk. All right, we kind of got some card advantage stuff going on. Exile your burn spell at some point. The Burnosaurus. This one is frustrating. Turn was insane. Hot mulligan fuck streak. Sure. That's all I need to know. Hot mulligan fucks everyone. Alright. Uh, they don't really have anything else going on, so we're just going to untap. Another exhume. That's a bit much. Uh, kind of wish I had another swamp. I really almost want to get my Gurmag in play. So I think what we're going to do is just put the Gurmag into play. Um, we can't really cast Exhum this turn. We're not really doing anything else. I'm just going to hold up two mana. All right. You need four cards. One, two, three, four. Player Gurmag, we're gonna hold up the relic. The extra card doesn't matter as much as I think just having the relic, so we're gonna have this Gurmag, then we're gonna attack with two augers. Don't really know if we race the Glintalk yet. Haven't really done the math. Uh I'd imagine probably not. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try our hardest. Do, do, do. 
Am I ahead on time yet? No, I'm still behind on time. Why does this deck do so many things? I click attack at all. I'm like supposed to represent foil this whole time. Ugh, this, this feels like Legacy, but like way grindier, which is kind of sweet. I do like that Legacy is pretty grindy, so it's kind of a nice little like per perk to the format. Did you just? Oh no, Friendo! <laughs> oh no, you don't have Metalcraft. <laughs> Come on, opponent. <sighs> you 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 cracked your clue. Journey to nowhere. All right, well that's pretty frustrating. Yeah, they played three of those, I suppose. Not much really can really do about that. Except have the uh, cycle guy. Tempted to crack this, but I don't feel like we're supposed to. Boop. I think I'm going to hold it for as long as there's a billion exhumes in my hand. All right, what do I got? A daze. All right, well, let's exhume back a auger bolus. Gimme. Cycle this into something that matters. Brainstorm counts. There's a good chance this hits no shuffle effects, but we can hope. Hey, Augur kind of counts. Stuff out's a good a good answer for the Glint Hawk. Then we get rid of one Exhum and the Daze. I don't know if this Daze is actually going to convert. I feel like there's a chance it does. I'm going to put it back anyway. I'm going to put it back anyway. This this guarantees that this fourth auger actually hits. Um, plans to cast, uh, to cast hard cast snuff out next turn. Days, days, exhume. Well, if I take a days, they know about it. So I'm just going to take an exhume. All right. Well, we're on the auger beatdown plan. But it seems to be doing, like, it'll do pretty well against whatever their plan is right now, so. We have build our own four power creature with 12 toughness or whatever. We're going to take our two. Everything makes sense. That was, like, a fine turn for us, all told. We cycled an exhum into, like, a snuff out and an auger bolus in play. And a land, I guess. Another land. That's a lot of lands. Um... Right click, attack with all. <laughs> Beat down plan is engaged. I'm gonna hold this island. I, I can't really think of a good reason to play it, except for maybe like gush. But like if we draw a foil, maybe we're just hard casting. I'm probably supposed to play this island actually, just cause gush is so big. Like having as much mana as possible after gushing is really big. We're doing it. We're doing it! <laughs> Delver you! Alright, yeah, I'm gonna play the island. It's almost tempting to just snuff out our own auger. We're just getting Galv blasted. Galv blast and auger. Alright, well, we're gonna exhume that. Boop. Exile that, please. Go. What you got? Attacks. Cast. Boop. Snuff that out. <laughs> All right, we'll take our one. We have our Delver of Secrets here. Left to do the job. Glen talk. No! <laughs> Crap! They have another one. We need to pick up their land and replay it. All right. The Hill Spell Bomb, huh? I guess we'll hold that. We're going to use it as a cantrip later for sure. Interested to see what they do here. Are they going to try to put something else in the graveyard? Because, like, obviously, like, I'm trying to set up for an exhum. They know about an exhum from Augur. So, if they want to try to get a Glenthawk back, obviously, it's not going to happen. But, like, it is something they can try to do. They elected not to try to do that. All right, let's exhum. Bring back another Augur. I have more Augurs, opponent. <laughs> I have more. They're so powerful. Ponder or Preordain. Ponder is the more powerful magic card. Uh, ponder. Boop. What do we got? Exhum. I don't think we want any of that. A Gurmag Angler. That's what I want. Ding! <laughs> Let's put the Nilsville over to play. Um, 
Just go to combat and attack with all our creatures. Get our uh, Delver rebuilt here. Going to need an answer to this. We have some turns, but we're going to need an answer to it. They've been through multiple Galblasts and Bolts, but we are getting in a pretty dangerous range, and we haven't seen a foil yet, which is pretty rough. Another three of an Inspector. Oh, no. Oh, no. Probably supposed to crack this trader to land drop. Unless you want your Gal Blast to deal four. Which looks to be the case. Snuff out. Because it's something pretty good to do with my turn. Um Man, being stuck on only one black source. I like I think I got really punished for like only having one black source at this point in the game. Like I really want to get this into play, but I think I'm supposed to snuff out this stupid Glint Hawk. Alright. That sucks. The way this game has played out has not been very good for us. Because, like, we can't really attack very well into the 1-2... Our 1-3 army does not attack well into the 1-3 army. Crack it. Um, let's go ahead and cast this. And blow this up. We're going to blow this up now. I don't think it changes anything. If it does, then I suck. And I'm willing to live with that. <laughs> How many Glintocks have they been through? Three? They have, like, very few Glintocks left. Lots of core Skyfishers, though. Oh, that gains a life. Alright, well, now they have that four mana thing available to them, potentially, that make three one ones. We're looking for a counterspell to beat that. Foil. Days. That's actually... That actually does it. So... What is my plan? What is my plan of attack here? Plan of attack is play a Gurmag Angler for a multitude of mana. Um, yeah, sure, we'll pay five. All right, pay two. Boop, boop. Ugh. All right, we got a Gurmag Angler. We're in business. And then we have a daze for their make three one ones, which requires like three creatures to flash back, so they won't be able to flash it back right away, which is pretty nice. Going to attack with three Augur of Boluses to push a point of damage. I think. I think this, I think this attack makes sense. There's maybe a merit to attack him for, but whatever. Whatever. This format is, like, really deep. Like, this, this, this entire game has been a lot of micro decisions, and I feel like I've gotten punished for a lot of them. Jeez, man. So I can crack Relic. And try to draw a card. That feels bad. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. This is lined up incredibly well against us. Gosh. We have like three Journey to Nowheres, no cantrips, and they found two of them in the top 20 cards of their deck. It's pretty unfortunate. What is that? A second swamp. You're on time, buddy. Uh... Let's cycle this. I think we're supposed to pay the black. Yes. Another island, huh? That sucks. Why can't this just destroy my creature? Um I feel like I feel incentivized to crack this relic. Yeah, I'm gonna crack relic. Try to get something going. Like, we don't really need the graveyard interaction anymore, and we do need to get something going. It sucks to exile nine cards out of my graveyard when I've been conserving cards for Gurmag all game, but... I just think that's kind of what we're supposed to do. What are my opponents doing here? I also don't know how I'm still a minute ten behind my opponent, despite the fact I feel like I've been playing this game much faster. It foils something. All right, let's stack with two. Oh no, I can't. I can't F six. I need to be able to foil. Let's also refill the graveyard with foil plus days. Still, prophetic prism is fine. 
probably going to counter. Any, anything with flying on, it's going to get countered. That stupid spell that produces a bunch of mana's, I mean, that produces a bunch of guys is going to get countered. Alright, Prudent's good. Prudent's real good. Bottom, bottom. Another Prudent's real good. So many cantrips. It's always so sweet. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Top. Top. Cycle this. Gush. Cast by returning two islands. Let's grab some stuff. Keep the train rolling. Boop. Another winder, eh? Uh, sure, we'll cycle it. Another foil. That's pretty good. Exhum. Alright. Bring back our hexproof guy. Go to combat. I uh, don't know if I'm just attacking three of these again. I think I'm going to. Yeah, we're going to do it just to push push damage. I think that taking draw steps against the deck that has like burn spells, like I feel like I just need to push damage. I wonder what this is. Is this like that proc spell? I wonder if this daze is getting more equity. I feel like it is. I think this daze could get more equity. I think I'm okay with this. All right, go. We have multiple foils, so like, pretty willing to foil just about anything here. Oh man, gaining life. That sucks. But yeah, taking Jossips because this deck is pretty frustrating. This is like going to get very countered. Yeah, no thanks. I'm going to discard two islands, I think. Keep, keep all this other stuff. Battle Screech is pretty good. Now we have to counter any white creature. So that they can't flash it back. Exhum. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Bring back another Riverwinder. Oh. Return a creature. I'd like to return that one, please. All right, we're finally getting somewhere. Attack with like this. They can flash back that spell. Or choose not to. They can just kill their stuff and never flash back Battle Screech. I'm okay with all of these lines. I'm okay. I'm like really excited with them blocking with anything because it just means that like we're much more likely to. Like being able to like them chop blocking this just means we're so much more likely to be able to like never have this be flashback, which is nice. All right, that's fine. That makes sense. I don't know why they blocked before flashing it back. I guess in case I counter it, I guess that makes sense. But they didn't block this one, right? These have hex proof. You can't target them. Uh, core skyfisher. Yeah, that has to get countered, right? Let's foil this. I definitely cannot beat that card. Hopefully they have a second one so that we can daze it. <laughs> I'd like to counter burn spells with these foils, but I, I just don't think we can beat that core sky fisher and to flash this thing back, so. I don't know if they know about this daze. I don't think they do. Is this game one? I believe so. I believe this is game one. <laughs> I mean, last time, last time I went to like two minutes left, so it doesn't really surprise me. Yeah, let's put this into play. And now we get to exile Battle Screech, and I don't think they have a chance. All right, exile your stuff. Okay. Okay, black. Yes. All right, now we have double days. We're owning. This is an instant, right? Combat. Um... You can't target these, so you're gonna target a auger of bolus. I'm just not gonna attack with augers then. Boop. Kill one. Go. All right. Please have nothing. Cycle a secluded step. That's fine. Three bit inspector. Probably gonna draw a card here. Or they're going to wait. Finally, either way. Streaped Riverwinder. I think I can just hardcast that one. 
I said it was probably never going to come up, yet here I am, eating my own words. Is that good? Is this a good attack? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the auger attack. I'll, I think I can wait, wait one more turn on the auger attack, especially with this extra strike we render. Ugh. Alright, fine. Um, what am I doing? Ooh. Oh no, they're ahead by a minute. I'm pretty sure the clock's what matters here. Winning, winning in three games seems like it's not really going to be an option in this game. Am I down a land? Six? Oh, yeah, I need a seventh land. Alright, fine. Ooh, there we go. There's all seven lands. Here's three striped river winders. So we got 16 cards left in our deck. There are 32 cards. That's fine. This is really not fine. Oh my gosh, are we gonna die here? Oh my gosh, with two dazes. God, that sucks. Maybe we should hold the foil. I don't really know. Probably misprioritize something in this game. All right, let's do the same side the same way we did before. Definitely still want these. Uh, I think that's still how I'm gonna sideboard. Uh, snuff out still seems really bad. Days on the draw, maybe it's not as good. They make a lot of mana, and this game gets really grindy. So, like, I think there's a chance, like, days is just really bad. The Grave Rotate, I think, is pretty good the more I think about it. I don't really know. I think I'm more happy to have the Nihil Spell Bombs, where I can just, like, crack it and cycle the draw card, than the Relic. I don't know. It feels close. Like, being able to hit that, hit that stupid make 3 one ones card is pretty nice. But we have Nausea for that card, so I'm just going to count on the Graveyard 8. Alright, we lost game 1, as we seem to tend to do. Their, their burnout plan game 1 is so good. This cartouche is like, I guess just pulls a ton of weight after sideboarding. It's also like insanely grindy. This whole format, just like, gush decks. We're just grinding everybody out. Oh, thanks everybody for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys sticking through this. I'm trying to figure out Popper, and I'm gonna learn this matchup really well by the end of the night if we keep playing against it. But we already got started late. Plus, this is gonna be this is pretty grindy. We're almost an hour and a half in. We've played one and a half matches, so we're doing it. We're doing it. I hope you get to Legacy. I'm going to get to Legacy. I mean, even if I have to stay up really late, I'm going to play Legacy tonight. The deck is really bad. The Wilderness Reclamation deck, it's super bad. I have trouble mulling this, I think. Like, it has functional mana and, like... It has functional mana. It has, like, Gush to maybe utilize the extra lands. Like, a Brainstorm is, like, going to fix this hand a lot. I think this hand's fine. Ugh. But, once again, there's a chance we just get run over. Yeah, Popper is slow as hell. I've noticed... I've definitely noticed. Even like this deck, which I don't know, should be like a reanimator deck. It's just like I mean, we reanimated freaking auger of boluses a bunch last game, and like started beating down with those. My turn. Great. Go. That's fine. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. Almost just conceded to a Thraven Inspector, which is a pretty fair response. That's fine. Boop. Boop. Auger, please. Okay, what do I got? A preordain. Seems like a good option. As it is the only option. Go. And we are now only a full minute behind. Gaining some ground a little bit here. As they go in the tank. Glintock, you got it. Are you picking up the clue or are you picking up your land? Picking up the clue. They care about hitting their land drops. Makes sense. Boop. Draw. Evolving Wilds. Preordain. Looking for a brainstorm here. Riverwinder's good. I think I want both these cards. Top. Top. Draw. Island. Go. Bonnet, please. Next turn we have Ponder plus... Um, Plus reanimate Riverwinder, which is a pretty good spot to be in. Mm. 
Block here, take take our two. We suck, take two. Ugh. I can't believe we beat this deck on a mold of four in match one. That just feels so absurd having like played that game with like a good seven. Alright, cycle pick up hopefully a good one. We've made up a lot of time here. We don't have 30 seconds. Gush, huh? Ponder. This ponder's kind of loose. Top. 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 Nope. Um. This is awkward. Um. Yeah, I'll shoot zone. Uh, put this into play. All right. Go. We have a ponder next turn to draw that we're going to. I think we're actually going to end up holding this evolving wilds. Because I really don't want to draw another evolving wilds. So I think we're just going to take a draw step, crack this, and ponder. What are we doing here? You're bolting me. Interesting. It feels like an aggressive lightning bolt when this game hasn't really like panned out at all yet. Like we don't really know what's going to happen. Yep. I mean, obviously you're going to attack a few more times this Glinthawk, but like, do you just have like all of that burn that I'm just going to die? That sucks. Pick up three of an inspector. Pick up a land. It's kind of weird to me that like this deck has more card advantage than the Gush deck. All right, crack this, go grab an island. Ponder. Try to find some removal spells. Exhum. Exhum is interesting. Top, top, top. Nope. I have a land to play, right? Cycle this. All right, yeah, let's just play our land. Exhum, get another 5-5 five, five into play. And then we can attack. Boop, boop. Pretty clear block here, but that's all right. We're probably attacking with it anyway. No blocks is interesting, to say the least. We're being at 13 is really big. Like, not dying to, like, in exactly three turns is going to be pretty nice, especially when you have two 5-5s five in play that are just going to keep abyssing down. Although that is pretty big for them too, going up to 16, because that's obviously a different increment of 5, so. We're going to need to hit pretty well off of these gushes, I think. Nausea. Well, now's as good a time as any to gush, in my opinion. So we're going to. Boop. Wait, no, stop. No. These two. Pick up two islands. Draw two cards. Might get Pyro Blasted. Did not get Pyro Blasted. I'm owning. Alright. What does a Null do? Does a Null do anything? It's pure Dane. Bottom. This Brainstorm's an easy top. Cast it. Uh, Gurmag Angler. That's a big one to hit. Uh, don't think I want land. Gush? Second, actually, the gush might be important. <laughs> as much as like, I'm looking at it now. This this like having this extra gush might be important. Putting back land, land might be correct. Although then we can't foil. Put back land, gush. Uh, we have like ten cards in the graveyard. We should have a billion cards. All right, let's play a Mega Angler. Doing six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Black. Put more 5-5s five into play, opponent. Let me have a null for the journey to nowhere. Um, I think I'm supposed to Evolving Wilds. Gosh, I, don't, I really don't know if I want this other gosh. Because, like, there's a chance we want it just to, like, find counter magic. I think I'm going to think on it. So I'm going to hold this ponder. 
Yeah, we're gonna hold this ponder. All right, we'll attack like this. Sure. Need to find some removal spells. Prevent damage. Prevent blue. That sucks. Okay. Well, that definitely swings the race. But if we can find a counter spell plus a cartouche, we're in good shape. Kind of, kind of considering fetching a second stomp to try to like enable double, uh, enable double nausea. Dirty into nowhere. Yep. Counter that. If they have the counter spell back. We're probably dead. Gosh. Just have it all. All right. Maybe we're supposed to gush there. I don't really want to gush there. Desperation gushes never really work out, in my opinion. Although now I think it's a pretty clear crack this evolving wilds because like we take five, go to four. And they have flashback prismatic thing. Blech. What you doing? Cracking a clue? That's fine. We're running them out of cards, but unfortunately it doesn't really matter on this board state. Alright, they don't have the burn spell. They don't they couldn't hold it up anyway. Oh, the screen went away. Boop! Let's go to five. Five is actually a pretty nice place to be too. Relic. Okay with relic. Pop. Grab an island. Um blue. Cycle this. Not out of exhumes. Gosh, I kind of want to daze this. But it makes our gush so much worse to daze this. Whatever, we're looking for removal spells. We already have all this, the fat stuff we want in play in play, so... I think this daze is just going to be fodder for a foil. Boop. And, like, they can't even use it this coming turn anyway. All right, Cartouche of Ambition. Well, that is what's known as it, Chief. And we can daze their spell. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That's so, so good. All right, yeah, let's Island. Cartouche on this. Put a minus one, minus one counter on Skyfisher, I guess. Although, nah, I should put it on the Glenhawk, that way it dies to nausea. Yes. Alright, um, and then I can ponder? I'll think about that in a second. I'm just gonna attack. Ooh. And then we get to daze this thing. Pretty nice. I'm actually just going to hold the ponder. Cast the days. Keep my lands in play for gush next turn. Make my next turn gush really good. Okay. We're at 11. 11 all. That was a big turn for us. Yep. That makes a lot of sense. Yep, that also makes a lot of sense. Fortunately, you can't target my lifelink thing. I think there's very little I would count this turn. I'm just going to have six to try to like, save a little bit of time. If they, if they cast something I would counter, then rip. Because, like, gushing into the counter spell seems rough anyway. Oh, they just conceded! Sweet! Thank you, opponent! I appreciate you knowing when you're dead. Alright, well, I mean, I like our plan. I feel like there's a chance we die still, but I'm just going to hit submit. Okay, man, this is so freaking grindy. Like, it seriously feels like every single one of these games is just going to come down to the clock. I don't know why people don't play quicker decks on this format, because it doesn't feel like this deck's supposed to be that slow. Although we are a gush deck, so maybe most gush decks are just incredibly grindy and slow, but like, I don't know, like, on the surface, it looks like I'm just trying to power out a 5-5 on turn 2 and, like, beat them down with it, but, like, they're over here playing Thraven Inspector. They can't beat Cartouche on a snake? Yeah, it seems that way. Well, like, they can. They just need to chain off that stupid protection spell over and over again. Unfortunately, we have the days for it. 
I like three days is on the play still. Uh, right. No black for Grimag Angler, but we have Brainstorm to try to shuffle it away. Yeah, I'll keep it. This hand's functional. And I have a pretty low bar. Relic on turn one's a little frustrating, but it's fine. Uh, ponder. Um, Evo is really attractive. Actually, all these all these things are attractive. So, top, top, top. No. Right, we're just gonna f six. Try to get ahead on time a little bit. Oop. Make it obvious when I don't have counter magic. Unless it's very relevant that I don't have counter magic. That's fine. You can have all the relics. We're going to shuffle these Gurbag Anglers away. I promise. Alright. Let's go ahead and brainstorm. A null. That's sweet. Gurbag. Gurbag. Play Evo. Go. Okay. Bajuka Bog. They're really serious about exiling my graveyard. They're not playing games. My graveyard is gone. It's not there anymore. I promise. There's no graveyard. It's all gone. There's none. There's none. <laughs> oh, man. This is probably going to be a pretty tough one to win, although they are down to four cards already. That's annoying. Just redeploy it. They choose not to redeploy it. They have a blast, I guess. I guess that means they have a blast. Or they're trying to play around days. Um, auger. Okay. Echoing decay is pretty good. Any order. There's a river winder going to the bottom, which is a little unfortunate. Hey, right, we're just gonna pass. Um, if they go to play the relic again, I think I'm just gonna annul it. I think we need our graveyard to like win this game and like. Them having two relics just means they're probably they're gonna have access. We're never gonna have access to my graveyard. Um, certainly not very quickly. That's fine. I cannot block. Why did you give me the option to waste my time? All right. Um. So we can echo and decay this. I'm interested to just play an auger first. I think. See if I can find like a disfigure, like something I'd rather like I'd rather hold this on average. I want a cartouche. Any order. Um, I think on end step I'm going to try to echoing decay. Six fifty. We're behind by about a minute again. <sighs> it sucks that I feel like I have to play so quickly in this, and like I don't think I'm like necessarily a very slow player. I mean, this deck has a lot of decision points in it. There you go. Just like clicking the one button a bunch. Basically as quickly as I can. Uh, I think I'm going to take two here. Just keep them from playing another one. Uh, that's fine. Alright, so you have a clue. Oh man, I did it in their main phase so they can play one anyway. God, I suck. Man, if they play another one, I'm just terrible. Blast me. Sure. Uh, pretty fine with being blasted there. Uh, let's go ahead and ponder first. Try to find a threat. Nausea, nausea, disfigure. Um, top, 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 draw. No. Um, put this land into play. Pass. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw one of the nauseas, and then I'm going to try to get rid of the other one. I think. Yeah, that's fine. They have three cards to our like a billion, so we're not. Gonna, we're gonna win on cards. I think this game, where we're not going to win, is on time. So, that sucks. But it's just kind of the way of things. Of course, Guy Fisher is fine. Yep, picking up that thing is also fine. All right, boop, gone. This sucks. 
draw. Let's play a preordain. Lead off on this. Gurmag Angler. Bottom. I think I want this Gurmag Angler. We're going to try to cast it. Blue. Should we just gush now? Uh, what do we got? What do, what do we have right now? We have four or five access to five things. I'm going to preordain again. Let's see. Course Skyfish around. Foil. Preordain and foil. I'm just going to like fill the graveyard. Try to get this Gurmag Angler into play. We're gonna take two more. There's an Exhum. Doesn't really matter. We're not really trying to do the Exhum thing. We're gonna take two more. Prismatic, Pro prophetic prism. Makes sense. Might should not have bottomed that foil, given that we have a gush in hand, but like I just didn't really feel like we're in a position where we want to foil, like we're, we're trying to answer things in play. Um, now we're buying a full minute again. That's fine. Yeah. This is all fine. Boop. Boop. Augur of Bolas. All right. Um, what is this? Five, six, seven? Let's just play the Grimmag Angler. Playing Gurmag Anglers under a Relic's pretty interesting. Uh, let's push a point. It's pretty free to do, I think. Oh, man. This core Skyfisher is going to be tough to beat. It's so stupid that like, we have no flyers to beat this card. We just die to a 2-3 all the time. Alright. What do we got? A daze. Um, island, island. Let's cast Gush. Should we cast Gush? Yeah, let's just cast Gush. Need to draw two. Need to find answers to things. Island. Ooh, still could have drawn a swamp. Suck. Uh, let's play an auger. Multiple dazes, but they don't really do anything. You're going to time out this game, but I want to play it out to its conclusion just to kind of see what would happen. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Any order. Would like to have one of those cartouches in play. Alright, let's attack like this. Okay. And blocking one's fine, taking seven. Uh, we can nausea. Is that good? Kills it. <laughs> Seems pretty bad. I'm just going to pass and discard an a daze, I think. Oh, I have to discard another card? Alright, well, daze can also go. <laughs> All of the dazes can get to the graveyard. It's a good way to fill the graveyard for Relic. Yeah, that's fine. We've got to end step. We're just going to disfigure this. Relic, okay, gone. What is this? Another Skyfisher. That's pretty bad. I'm not sure I can beat that second one. So, let's gush. We did not draw it, Chief. Womp womp. All right. Prismatic prism. Prophetic prism, rather. Uh. Card's not doing me any good. We're just constricting their mana on this turn. Might matter. Like, this card's not doing anything. We're just going to discard it if we have the option to. And uh, lets me use the mana from that gush. Also lets me um, just get rid of a card. So, like, taxes there. Tapping their land is worth a card there because we just have so many cards and not enough, like, ways to be core sky fishers. Um, go to combat. Why should I... Uh, I don't, know. I don't really have time to think that much. I probably should have cast the cantrip before this combat because if they have that stupid spell, we're dead. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. They probably have that stupid spell. Dang, man. 
Oh no. Did I go to my instep? Dang. Alright, well, we can disfigure one of them. I think I have to only discard one island. I just screwed up, chat. I suck. Am I dead? Just gal blast me and get it over with. Just gal blast me and get it over with. Pretty sure I just punted this game, but that's okay. I tried hard. That's what matters. Could have, like, cantrip to try to find, like, a uh, counter spell. Let's see if we would have found one. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Would have found some more threats, though. Probably would have shuffled that. All right, well, that sucked. It sucks that, like, I felt like I was behind on time, and so I, like, kind of punted that. Because I would have cast those cantrips before combat to uh, try to find a foil, but, like, we were so behind on time that, like, I don't think we could afford it to. Am I supposed to keep this on the draw? This sounds really bad on the draw, I feel like. But after, after all that mulligans game one, I feel like we're probably supposed to keep stuff like this. I'm just going to mulligan it. Sand's actually convincingly better. Keep. Opponent also mold to five, or mold to six, though, so that's good. Opponent. It's a sick model of list to play regularly. Yeah, like, it's fine that it's, like, grindy. It's just, like, pretty annoying that, like, every match is against this deck and, like, they're all, like, grindy as hell. Ugh. Ponder. Guess my cantrips. More cantrips spewing. Do we have an exhum? We don't. But Strike Window Runner is still pretty nice. I think I'm just going to top all this stuff. Nope. I think that's like, that's like definitely plays to what my deck's trying to do. Um, there's a chance we daze. If they play, if they play that stupid bounce guy, we're going to daze it if possible. Soul Warden. I don't know if I'm dazing that. I guess I'm not. I'm not dazing that. Yep. Bounce land. That's fine. Gain a bunch of life. This looks like a different deck, at least. Hopefully. Um, we get to cycle both striped river winders this turn. Which is pretty nice. What you got? Gain, gain more life. You're at a billion. You have a mana floating. You have a bunch of soul wardens. What what is this deck? Like inefficient use of mana beating down with soul wardens. This is their plan. Alright. Well, our plan is win with five five, so hopefully that beats soul wardens. Cycle through these. This is the third time you've played against this deck? Yeah it is. I don't know, I was hoping for a little more diversity out of this format. What the heck? Um Boop. Play in a hill spell bomb. This is a good chance we just cycle it. Like, I don't think Lake we care if they bring back a Soul Warden. Um, that stupid make 3 one ones card is going to get very easily dazed if that's what they have. Having green is interesting. Something different! Everything's wonderful. I'm so happy to be being beat down with Soul Wardens. Somebody has Blue Black Delver, which is apparently a good matchup. What is this? A three mana spell. Remember another creature? Untap him. Whatever, we'll just daze it. Daze that. I don't know when we're going to get another chance to daze something. But I'm here for it. We're going to daze. I don't know what's in their deck. I do know that, that is dazeable and just got dazed. Ugh. Alright, let's, let's try to get something going here. Wait, why is there, why is there a blue in my pool? Oh, I drew a cantrip. Never punished. Never punished for accidentally clicking on things. Alright, Cruden. Huh? That plus Gaunt makes infinite tokens? This is the bad version of the Splinter Twin deck? Sure. Uh, I think I'm going to bottom this day. So they've already seen it. Um, Plain Island ship. I think I want to cast Gurmag Angler next turn. I'm looking... What is what is Gond? Midnight Guard plus Presence of Gond. Sure. I don't know what that means. Is that an enchantment? <laughs> what is what is the card Presence of Gond do? Does it get blown out by Snuff Out? That is what I care about. Will they get blown out by Snuff Out? And do they have protection spells? These are all things that are relevant that I care about. A 
A second Gurmag Angler. Can we play two in a turn? I don't think we can. Uh, let's just deploy an island. Island. Gurmaggy. Leaving one blow up. I don't know, you never know when you might need a blow up. Also don't really want to exile these striped riverwinders. Yeah, you can untap your creatures and do all this other stuff. All this is fine. Everything you're saying to me right now is fine. We have we have a speed bump. So we're good to go. We have a roadblock for all of this stuff. I don't know what your removal suite looks like, but we have a roadblock. Commune with the gods. That's fine. Five cards. Let's see if I can figure out what this Presence of Gone card does. What is this? Oh, that's hot. Thermo Alchemist. Presence of Gone. Alright, well, let's... Try to do the thing. Try to blow you out. Does it work? I know you're in the card need, actually, right? It is a... What do you grab? Is it a land? What does Commune with Gods grab? You grab a creature or enchantment. So is it a Nettle Sentinel? No, it's, you have the Nettle Sentinel in the graveyard. Oh, you just grabbed the Presence of Gond. I see. I understand. All right, well, we did it. <laughs> All right, yeah, we did we did the blowout thing. That's that's what we were looking to do. Preordain, sure. Let's guess this. Try to put more stuff in our graveyard. Bottom to fuel our Gurmag Angler and just move through our deck faster. I'm like still stuck in like play fast mode. Put on top. Um. We just cast two Prudians. I really don't want a basic land cycle this Ash Barons. Uh, so I guess that means it's gush time. Gush time. Draw two cards. Foil's great. Alright, let's play a land for a turn. And I guess we're just going to cast a Gurmagan Glare. Oop. I have lots of Gurmags. One, two, three. Presence of Gond. Gains infinite life and makes infinite one ones. Sure. They're at a billion life. We have a lot of work to do. Gurmag Angler's got some work to do. This is another Soul Warden? What are we doing here? This is another one of Splintern Guy. Presence of Gond. I suppose I'm not really supposed to let that resolve. Discard an island. And the Ash Barons. Discard lots of lands. Foil your presence. It seems to be a centerpiece of your deck, and your deck seems to not do stuff unless it's putting a bunch of one ones into play that chop block every turn. Um. Cycle this. Exume. Play the Hill Spell Bomb. We'll cycle the hill spell bomb because we're gonna exhume later. If we draw a swamp here, we can actually do it now. We do not. Combat. Tag with all. Go. Our ten turn abyss is pretty good. If they don't block here, that's even better because that means that like our uh, our exhume is likely to just bring back a thing without any kind of disruption. They have one card left. Can't imagine it's great. Still not intending to block. They have time, they say. They have time. The night guard? Four mana. What is this? Five mana? A billion mana. What are we doing with all this mana? Oh, no. It's that stupid sapling card with buyback. That sucks. Takes a million mana to make a 1-1 every turn. And gain two life. See if we can hit something that cares that beats that. Right, you can gain a bunch of life. That's all fine. Suspect I need a counterspell for this. Right, well, maybe not. We'll just put more power into play. That always helps. Okay. I definitely see how this deck plans on stalling forever. Yet another deck that's planning to grind into the dust. 
Ugh. We're just going to beat down 5-5s five till they stop grinding. Probably going to have to, like, shoot one of these things at some point. I want to read this card. What is it? What, what did they cast? Sprout Swarm. Show me this card. Or don't. What's up, Mason Clark? How you doing, BB? I was promised Reclamation. It's happening after I finish up this Popper League, which we are winning in. <laughs> it's... It's a complicated, complicated feeling that I'm going through right now. Uh, Echoing 2 seems good. Nausea seems pretty good. The plans make a bunch of 1-1s. One I imagine that Nausea is going to be quite good. Um, Cartouche also seems good. These cards just seem like the best cards in the format. Why am I playing any of these other garbage? It all seems terrible. I should play these great cards. Uh, I like Snuff Out. I like Foil. They're like a combo deck, so... The two... Minus two, minus two effects didn't seem great. I think Decay is actually good. I think this figure is pretty bad. Um, not in love with the relics slash nil spell bombs. Whatever, I guess we'll leave in two spell bombs. Daze doesn't seem awesome on the draw. I'm going to cut at least two of those. I think Foil is still good. I think Gush is still good. All these cards are still good. I don't really know what to cut in this matchup. I won't lie to you guys. Maybe foil's not as good if my plans to like kill their stuff. Maybe cartouche is just bad. Like, I'm not really gonna get punked out by the creature plan. So like we could do something like this and then like maybe cut like one more thing. Like a Gurmag. I don't know. Feels loose. But if they're bringing Grave Hate, maybe cutting a Gurmag is reasonable. Alright, we're just gonna try this. Dispel for Delver and Control? Or are you just like talking about what's... Hydroblast makes Burn, Cascade beatable? Sure. Days in the draw, like all of them? Why do you want all the days in the draw? This deck seems like it has a lot of like really cheap interaction and then like just, so it just has like a bunch of lands. Like it doesn't seem like it's using all of its mana every turn. Uh, this feels like a keep? Yeah, we have, we have Brainstorm Bus Fetch Land. We can't mulligan this. We also have like multiple answers to their thing. To their combo. Which they probably board out realistically, but whatever. I don't think there's anything on two mana I care about. Definitely don't care about that. Bounce land. I meant cut like all of them. Oh, well, I don't know. I think they they still could be good. Like they still play bounce lands and stuff. I guess. Yeah, maybe I should just cut all of them. You might be right. Um. I just want as much information as possible. Like, uh, a graveyard hate piece would inform these exhumes. They have multiple combos. What's what's the rest of their combos? I don't really see any other combos. There's just like there's a lot of like value, just like gain a bunch of life with the uh, thing and make tokens, but I don't really see any other combos. I guess Sprout Swarm doesn't Sprout Swarm have like Convoke? This guy seems like a pain. All right, I'm gonna brainstorm and try to hit Daze on this guy. No. Hmm. Let me put back an Evo and an Exhum. Neither of those are really doing me any good. I have stuff out for this guy, so that's fine. Alright. Let's crack this. There's probably a chance I'm probably supposed to just snuff out this. I'm gonna look and see what we hit this turn before I do that. Um... Because I can do it at any point, basically. And it is the same thing. Interesting. They have no green mana. These cards all seem, like, reasonable, but they don't really do anything. I think I'm just going to shuffle this. Hey, that's what I was looking for. Now we're talking... Uh, we could hit, like, a one-man artifact, like a hill spell bomb that we'd want to cast main phase. All right. We did not. And now I definitely want to wait, because I don't want to just reanimate this back. I'm glad I'm glad I waited on this stuff out. There's their green source. Take our one. They play that, like, untappy guy. We're gonna, we're just gonna play an island next turn. To hold up Echoing Truth. Yeah, there's an Tappy guy. Um, to, like, pick this up. And we're going to have stuff out, too. So, like, we don't mind taking a damage or whatever. Um, 
Let's go ahead and get this river winder and play while we still can. The Legacy Pit. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Legacy Pit. I think that's the name of the deck we're going to play later today. This Reclamation deck. How's it going? They use their Twiddle creatures to make Express Horn and make infinite tokens? Sure. I don't know. I don't know what that exactly that takes, but we have a, we have a null too. We should have a million things. Ooh. A million things to try to blow them out. Hype. Empty the Pits is one of my favorite favorite dudes. Favorite cards? Sure. Yeah, the, the card's sweet. Card's sweet. Ugh, such a slog. And I don't even know what I'm slogging against. It's so much work. Alright, what is this? Is this that enchantment? This is... Thermal Alchemist. Dealing up me a point of damage. Blech. This Thermal Alchemist is really irritating. Five cards into the real world card zone. Wow, that's bad. Okay. We're gonna daze if he tries to play another one of these untappy guys. Which looks like he is going to try to do... Look at this! Daze on the draw! See? Daze all, daze all the time. Daze all the time every time. Um, I don't know if I'm, what I'm supposed to do about this Thermo Alchemist. I feel incentivized to just blow it up. I'm just gonna blow it up. This thing's gonna deal me a lot of damage. A lot of damage. In the words of Rob, who was here earlier, it will do me a lot of damage. Uh, wonder. Let's see what we can see. All of these cards are very above average. Um, very, very above average. Uh, what order do I want them in? Top. 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 Nope. Island. Play spell bomb. Are we losing this race? Why does it feel like I'm losing this race? Three. Four. We have an auger next turn though, so I guess we should just start attacking to get their life total down. Since we know we have, we know we have an auger coming. Such a slog. If we get sprout swarmed, I feel pretty dumb. Rugged Highlands. I guess this card's just like important for all of their combos and stuff. Glad we didn't cut snuff out at all. Alright. Thermo Alchemist. That's really tilting. Alright, yep. Tap your stuff. This is rough. Killing X3s is like kinda hard for this deck. Boop. Yep. Alright. Gush. So we can gush. We can auger. There's lots of things we can do. I think I want to auger this turn no matter what. So I'm just going to go ahead and cast it. Untap your stuff. That is fine. So many triggers. Should probably auto yield to these by now. No island in hand. Nice, Drake. You're doing great. Um... I think I want to grab foil. Any order. Um, I, don't, I don't know about the Echoing Truth yet, so I'm just going to attack with Stripe Riverwinder. Boop. Start trying to beat down a little bit here. I'm going to pick this up, I think, and then foil it on the way back down. Uh, cast by returning two islands. We're going to replay one of these islands. Play one of these islands. Echoing Truth to pick this up. And then we have Foil for the way back down. Alright, this is like a plan. It's not an awesome plan, but it's a plan. Like we have a Counterspell for their enchantment. We have a Foil for the Thermo Alchemist, which I think is the biggest way we're going to lose this game. Um, no attacks is interesting. They know about foil, so I guess they don't want to run it into the foil. Well, they know about island. Um, ponder. Which I guess makes sense. Ooh. Ooh. These cards are all fantastic again. Amazing how that works. Uh, top. 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 
Nope. Go to combat, attack for five. Probably gonna hard cast this gush. I don't know if we're gonna pick up lands for the rest of the game. We're definitely cycling this. But like after the after next year, probably gonna play like swamp and pass. I'll just like keep beating down with my abyss and like holding up counter magic. This is like I guess this is like the board state my, my deck wants to get into where I'm just like holding up foil for the rest of the game while just like beating down with five fives. It's pretty hard to lose from there, it feels like. What is this? A sprout swarm? Cast with buyback. I guess I have to foil this. All right. Uh, yeah. Discard some lands. Counter that. Pretty sure that goes infinite with Midnight Guard. Hopefully they don't play Thermo Alchemist so I have a turn to like get all my stuff reset back up. Oh, they're about to play it. See if I, let's see if I did this intelligently, but the gush did not suck. Drake's garbage at magic. All right, well, now this is tough to win again because I'm a forehead and messed up. All right, combat, attack for five. We do have foil going on. We do have hard cast gush on instep. This isn't an instant, right? This is an instant? This is ridiculous. Why is this card so dumb? All right, we're probably gonna lose this one. A lot of you guys. Commune. Take my one. Yup. What you got? Boop. Thermo Alchemist, you should play another one. It's pretty gross. Pretty gross. Blech. That's fine. Probably should tap your Thermo Alchemist and deal me a point of damage. You just messed up. It's part part of the point of your deck is to untap your stuff. And you did not. It untaps all creatures, right? No, it just untaps itself. Never mind, you didn't mess up. I'm just really dumb. Draw the cards. Hey, that's nice. All right. I'm at 13, they're at 7, I really need a lot of help, so let's brainstorm. That counts as some amount of help. So Nausea gets rid of the Soul Wardens. I want to keep Nausea, you want to keep Augur, a Null feels like a waste of time at this point in time. And so does Nihil Spellbone. Yeah. Always feel too slow. I'll play this. Crack it. Grab an island. And I think we're looking for like disfigure here. Alright, let's cast this. Snuff out. I definitely want the snuff out. Going to three doesn't feel good though. And stuff out. Autumn. Top. Um. <sighs> we can. We have a chance of drawing an island off Striper Rewinder, whereas we don't have a chance off Augur, but we have a chance of drawing a Gush or a Daze, all of which pick islands back up. How many of those do we have left in our deck? We have one Gush and three Dazes. Oh, no, two Dazes because we're on the draw. Um, Alright, I think I want to get Augur and play a block. Alright, yeah, that's fine. It untaps itself. I think you have another Thermo in hand. So I'm looking for a Daze so that I can foil. This game's really tough. Exhume. Well, that doesn't do anything. Any order. Combat. We'll attack for five. I think I'm supposed to snuff out this stupid Thermo Alchemist, but that might just kill me. I 
We're doing it. Hi. You would need more untappers. Yeah, whatever. Go to two. All right. We're gonna need some some gasoline. Metal Sentinel. That's fine. That is very fine. We can beat that one. I don't think we can beat the other Thermo Alchemist in their hand, though. We need to hit real well. Foil's like awkward card to play with, for sure. Wait, what happened to the other Thermo Alchemist? Am I dumb? Probably just dumb. I probably grabbed that off the commune and I just like missed it entirely and thought it was a. Alright, YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm dumb. I apologize. I'm trying. Uh, so we can just nausea. I think I'm supposed to attack for five. Nausea, kill that, that. Then we get to preordain. Preordain. Let's just preordain first. Echoing decay. What does that do? I don't know, but we're chopping it. Bottom, top. Um, get a combat. Let's attack for five. Think we're gonna win this one? This looks this looks to me like a winning situation. Oop, and then we're gonna kill this midnight guard with this echoing decay. Blow that up. And we still have foil up. Alright, go. They have nettle sentinel and nothing to our 5-5. Five five. And potentially another 5-5 five five next turn. Oh gosh, did they draw Sprout Swarm? Blit. All right, well, in that case, I guess this card is probably better than random. Days lol. All right, let me foil this. I can't believe we actually had to foil too. Like I was like trying to think of something that would be in their deck that I would actually foil and it was like Sprout Swarm. Like, I don't know. The fact they're playing Battle Screech is really tilting. All right, we're at two. We're dead to a dead to a nettle sentinel hit. Nausea, huh? Okay. Yep, this block's fine. Leave you dead on board. Go. Don't make more one ones, please. Don't do me like this. All right, well, that's something. Exhume. So they have to block, yeah. So we can just attack out. They have to block, the exhume doesn't do anything. <laughs> Nausea didn't win there, that's why we didn't cast it. They would win this turn, so if they had drawn the Soul Warden, all right, they're dead. As long as I don't F6 through my combat, which I don't plan on doing. Alright, they're dead. We did it! We owned! Oh my gosh. This is such a slog. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick before we continue our slog. And I will be right back.
We are back. Back here to slog. My god, we are 2-1 and one with my first time playing Popper in this brand new Popper format. And my god, this feels honestly harder than basically most other formats. It might just be because I haven't really played these matchups a billion times, but like, I've played a lot of Legacy and like, this format just feels so much harder. Like, foil requires you to set up like your hand like three turns in advance it feels like because you're just like okay i'm planning on picking this land up with this and i'm planning on holding this land i'm planning on doing this doing this and just like you have to set up your exact hand configuration with foil for like multiple turns in advance and then like i mean gush kind of does the same thing trying to figure out gush hey emma v mav mav thank you very much for the bets i really appreciate it i really appreciate your support thanks for sticking around hope you're enjoying the popper content even though it's like really grindy and pretty hard I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot to talk about, which is nice. But like, man, I wish it was a little less grindy. It is. It is fun though. Like, I think I wouldn't mind playing a tournament of this format. Um, Jen said. Jen said he doesn't like that the the, um, the decks feel like I guess kind of broken. He just doesn't really like how it plays out. Maybe I'll get tired of it after playing enough of it. But I'm, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. A um, little worried about the content for you guys since it's so slow, but it is very fun. Like here, like I could foil on turn one. What are the chances I do? Very slim. Access to black's nice. Second island's nice. I'm not sure we actually want the other island though, so we're gonna just gonna like do it like this. I think I want all these cards. Nope. I don't know if plays Baron more, but we're about to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know any of the decks in the format, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna learn we're gonna learn today. Is this something I'm supposed to daze? But I, I don't know. Am I supposed to? Do it? God, snuff out. Looking real embarrassing if this is mono black. Isn't this like a control deck? Tap deals one damage to any target. One damage to any target. One damage to any target of the opponent's choice. I'm just gonna daze this. This feels like something I'm supposed to just daze. Although we're gonna, they're gonna get it back with exhum, so now I have to like find an a graveyard hate piece. But like, what the hell? All right, let's just bottom both of these. All right, all right. Well, we got days again. Don't really think I want them having this like one three card that doesn't really make any sense. Pretty fine with that. We could beat a series of two for ones for sure. Our deck's pretty good at doing that. Uh, I could use a brainstorm because all these cards are kind of bad. All right. There's a good chance we foil pitching like this. This. Get hard cast days now. It's nice. Nihil spell bomb. That's a very good pickup. Nihil spell bomb. Cause now like our zooms are alive again. Still saying uh, still would pitch one if we had to. Uh, foil. Sign and blood. Sure. You can draw more cards. Uh, this witch thing again. How much do I care about this witch thing? I feel like it could kill me, but like we're ahead on life total right now. We're gonna let it happen. We're gonna let the witch happen and we're gonna die to it. And I'm fine with that. That's okay. We will die to stupid witch thing. Boop. Draw. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and start off with a ponder. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Um. I want all this stuff. So top, top, top. Nope. Cycle this. Plain Island. Casting zoom. Bring it back. Do the stuff. Do the hokey pokey. You turn it all about. Etc. Etc. We have prudent to clear our brainstorm, which is pretty fun. It's pretty good value. Getting rid of the snuff out, I suspect, is going to be pretty important. Oh, no! Dang! Good thing we have another zoom. That is a tilt. We could we could have days plus foiled, but that's just like a million for wanting ourselves, and I'm not super interested in doing that. Um, take our one. Going to cast zoom. Bring it back again. Then I think we're just gonna auger. Auger. 
Echoing decay. That's pretty interesting. We're just gonna ponder. This way we don't get blown out by more gas verdicts. They play seven lands. What is this thing? You become the monarch. It's a one three death toucher. Okay, I don't think I can let that happen. I think we have to million for one ourselves this this one, Chief. Alright, yeah, days this. Turn an island. Gosh. That thing is a beating. Alright. Boop. This turn an island and a snuff out. Fuck off! <laughs> I can't beat that card. Eh, we have billion for one ourselves, but it's gone. It's in the graveyard. All right. Let's ponder. Another stuff out. An evolving wilds. Yeah, it was any order shuffle this. I'm not interested in any of those cards. Ooh. I am very interested in Gurmag Angler. Very, very interested. The slogs, though. Yeah, I appreciate it. Oh, like a troll, I find it. If he's played the Pestilence version, you're in trouble. Well, Pestilence does not seem great in this deck. Uh, let's preordain. We'll hold this brainstorm. Um, bottom. This lets me shuffle off my brainstorm. Hmm. I'm just gonna bottom both. I just want my brainstorm to be relevant. Okay, Mag Angler. Boop. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's a girl, Mag Angler. Go! Alright, we have three cards to their five. But we got some five fives, which is pretty nice. Disfigure is fine. And you're gonna ping my auger. Think I'm okay with this? I don't really know why I care about that. Let's deal one damage to any target and one damage to any target of the opponent's choice. So I just like deal one to you too. Seems great. You. What did I choose to do it to? Yeah, I chose to delta them. All right. Uh, pretty okay with that. Guess verdict. I think we have to counter. We basically have to counter all their sacky stuff, which kind of sucks. Like even their death touchers. Wish this thing had some evasion. I'm not countering that. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, they they want to lose life draw cards. I'm here for it. What is this? Deals X damage or creature you gain X life or X is the number of swamps you control. So if we foil slam, what happens? I'm just going to do it. We're, just, we're, we're double deck, right? We're doing it. All right. Nice tendrils. Did we win? Hopefully we win. Good card. Gush. That counts. Yeah, attack. Attack for a billion. Think you have to do some blocking here, Chief. Alright. Cast by returning two islands. Look, I have cards in hand now. I have four cards. Look at all these cards. Uh, cycle this. Island, huh? All right. Well, need you not to have anything, please. Putting themselves to one seems loose. I don't see them. I don't see them doing that. What does this card cost? Four mana. What is this? Obulet. Just like, this is the Oblivion Ring, right? Yeah. That is fine. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't really know exactly how the card works. I just assume it's Oblivion Ring. It's the million dollar Oblivion Ring. Chittering Rats. Well, that sucks. Okay. Combat. Attack for five. You have to block. We have you under an abyss. 
Mono black two for ones, huh? It's pretty miserable. Uh, there's maybe merit in playing that land. I don't really know. I like. I'm holding it for brainstorm. Gray merchant. Okay. I don't really care about that. He doesn't sling the life the life race too much. Uh, combat. Five. Yeah, this is a deck Graven Hate, so definitely good against. Tech four three. You can't even double block. They don't really have a lot good going on here. We have a strike riverwinder. I like this block. Um let's just cycle this. Let's see what this let's see what this ends up being. Ponder. Pretty willing to just Try to find a good ponder here. Uh, this is definitely qualifies. Nope. All right, here's Gurmag. I'm owning. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's Gurmag Angler. Ugh. Stop! Stop killing my stuff. We've grinded pretty hard, I think, and they've drawn eight lands, which is pretty nice. Like, I feel like that's like the problem with this mono black deck. I don't really know how they use excess lands. All right, yeah, we'll just put a land on top. I have everything I need. Everything I care about's in play. Uh, days that. <laughs> Late game days! Nice five drop! Maybe should have missequenced these. <sighs> All right, combat. Tag of creatures. Drink! What's up, Goonism? Go... Go, Sam. I'm taking your next list to the PT. Haven't played a single match yet. Do you have any VODs up? I do. They are on my YouTube channel, which you can find in the Twitch channels below. Should be access there should be a link to my YouTube channel. And I played Nexus of Gates. I actually played like four hours of Nexus of Gates across two different leagues with two different uh, lists. So you can see plenty of Nexus of Gates uh, material if that's what you're looking for. We win! We're owning! The turn, what is it? What turn was this? The turn 11 days got there. Gah! Roning. Thanks, thanks. You're welcome. Good luck at the Pro Tour. The deck's very, very good. But uh, my, my biggest tip to you is if you're going to play Gates, mulligan absolutely any seven. Any seven that, um, that only has uh, two lands in it. You need at least three. And you can keep sixes with a scry because you have a chance of hitting a third land. But mulligan any seven that has two lands in it. That is my best advice. I'd probably say it somewhere in those VODs. Um, also, read the article if you haven't checked out the article. It's on hipstersofthecoast.com. I wrote an entire guide to it, a cyber guide, based on what I would play at GP Memphis. Um, it is a list I would play for an open meta game. I don't really know what you personally are expecting, but I, uh, I, put, I posted up there what I would play in an open meta game. Um, gosh. That was a beating. Um, this counters Obulet, but I didn't really see a ton else it counters. There's a bunch of creatures. I don't really feel like we're well set up. I feel like this has to be a good matchup if we're not well set up at the sideboard to beat this deck. Um, not super excited about getting two for ones. We could try to pick up ovulets and stuff, but that doesn't seem very good either. What's it do? Gives island walk, but they don't have islands. Uh, they have that stupid one three. We just do not kill X threes very well. Well, we need to get snuff outside of our deck no matter what. What how long do I have? A minute and a half? I need to get snuff outside of our deck. Edict probably has to be in our deck. And I feel like the spell has to be in our deck. Sure. Guess verdict's an instant, right? Let's look this up. Guess verdict. It is an instant. Alright, that's probably good enough then. Yeah, that's probably fine. Is there anything else we'd want to change? Uh, I don't really know. I'm just going to click submit. If I screwed it up, I screwed it up. Cartouche? Why do I want Cartouche? Cartouche is not good. They have removal spells. I'm not putting Cartouche in my deck. That's just not happening. Augur is the best card in the matchup because it keeps your snakes from getting edicted. Cartouche is still good. I do not want Cartouche. I'm not putting Cartouche in this deck. Like, it's just, it's just not happening. It is not happening. It's asking to get two for once, and I'm just not here for it. Uh, Prudane. 
Dispel. I feel like the Dispel is going to have equity. Whereas this land might not. Alright, we're going to put the Dispel in our hand. And chip. Then we got some... We got, uh, if Augur is the best card, then we're, we're, we're doing it. We got some Augurs. Cycling their land. I guess being able to play Baron War is pretty nice for the Mono Black Control deck since like you're very susceptible to flooding out. Just play around Edict. I feel like they're... No, they bring in uh, that Tendrils of Corruption card too. Or like they have that 4-drop in their main deck. Like there's a lot of things that kill our creatures. Oh wow, we have Brainstorm plus Fetch. Bleh. That's much better than Augering here, I think. Although, my hand's pretty good. I don't know. I'm just going to pass. We're going to see what's up. Because there's a chance I want to shuffle this away. Because we're not really on an Exhumed plan, so I don't really think I want this Nail Spell Bomb. But is this just Friction Rager? I can beat that. I can beat that with Augur Bolas. Alright, let's Brainstorm. Days. That's an interesting one. Relic. Alright. There's a lot of decisions to be made here. And I think this is actually a pretty key turn. Um, I'm not in love with Relic, and it's between Foil or Days. They have a lot of impactful 4-drops. I think it's supposed to be Foil that goes away. Like, I almost want to cut Foil in this matchup if, like, it wasn't our only answer to some of that, like, the stuff like that Death Touch 4-drop and stuff. Well, that's awkward. Um, can we play this Gurmag yet? No. Alright. Let's just play a auger then. And then we can cycle the stripes if we don't have to dispel. Hmm. Exhum. Okay, sure. Well, now cycling the uh, stripe looks very, very good. We're in pretty good shape. This this game has panned out very well for us. This is that Monarch thing. We're going to counter it very quickly. Oh, well, we can't counter that. Uh. Alright, sure. I mean, there's not much we can really do about that. That duress sucks. Our hand was so good. They're just going to take Exhum now. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Like, we'll just leave Stripe Riverwinder for later. Like, our hand has a lot going on. They just, like, can't take, like, this and this, which are probably our best two cards anyway. Like, they're fueling our graveyard. And we also still can cycle this, so they can't take like this either. So like our best cards here are probably like this and the dispel. Like if they have the guest verdict, maybe they should just take the dispel. I don't think they're taking this. I don't think they're taking this. I think they're just taking. I think taking Exhum or Expel. Exhum makes the most sense. You only play one or two of those by four to six edicts. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I I, I just don't think our two like the minus one minus one isn't going to have isn't going to get any equity. Taking the days is very interesting. This this makes me think they have that stupid Chainer's edict. Sure. Sacrifice it. You got it. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Actually, this is, like, fine. If they don't crack it right away, we just play Gurmag Angler. And hold up the spell. That's fine. I'll take a million. Like, they have to crack this. They know about the Gurmag Angler. Okay, or don't. Boop, boop. Play Gurmag. Exile all this stuff. Boop. There's Gurmag. We have Dispel for Guest Verdict. If they have more Chainers Edict kind of effects, then we look kind of dumb, but... I think I'm okay with this. Oh, wow, we have a sweet line. I'll be let. Alright, that's fine. We have a sweet line of, like, cycle this, then cast Exhum, and then when they cr crack this, we just cycle another one. That's hot. That's real hot. We're going to get a 5-5 five, five yet. We're going to get to 5-5 five, five yet. All right. Cycle this. This is sweet. Gush? Ooh. Um. Thing is, we kind of get got by an edict effect so i think i'm actually still just going to put the auger into play we we must be patient patience is a virtue that brainstorm is going to be fantastic in the order we're well set up here they only have three cards left and we're like kind of doing it uh i don't think i can afford to put the snow spell on the play 
We are kind of doing it. This is this is kind of sweet. Our deck's looking real good this game. Maybe this is a good matchup. If I'm this excited about what's going on, that probably just means this is a good matchup. Cycle, you got it. I don't really know what this mono black deck's good against, but it doesn't seem like us. <laughs> that thing. Why do I care about that thing? I don't understand why I'm supposed to care about this card. It does make our augers, I guess, look kind of weird. Yeah, just I'm not convinced I care enough about this thing. <laughs> Am I supposed to brainstorm here? Um, I can float blue gush, then brainstorm. I guess I just want to be patient. Maybe I'm supposed to crack this. I'm going to crack this no matter what. Grab an island. I'm going to be really patient with this brainstorm. All right. Let's cast Exum. And they crack this and we just cycle another one. Okay. Alright, do I get priority again? I do. Awesome. Cycle this. I'm owning. Can I bring this back now, please? Yes! Yes! Alright. Uh, no attacks make sense. We want to hold up Dispel, so we just pass. Oh, we didn't make our land drop, so maybe we're supposed to gush. Hmm. I'm always pretty interested in gushing when we don't make our land drops. What do you have, six cards in hand? All right, I'm actually going to gush. This is a pretty premature gush. It is not very patient at all. But I really want to gush. Boop. And we have eight cards, so I'm just going to put the Nihil spell bomb into play. Just keep keep up on cards. If, if this is a control mirror, then we're doing it, for sure. Our cards are not only more impactful on the board, but just better in general. Great Merchant. Uh, that kind of sucks. We're going to take a hit for two, a million. All right, we're going to take a hit for a million. Does this deal one to me? It does. That is most unfortunate. We're at nine. Okay. All right. River Winder. That's pretty good. Cycle this. Uh, play an island. Exhum it back. Put this into play. Combat. Let's attack. Playing the island might have been bad. Like, now we're a little more vulnerable to foil. Uh, I'm sorry, to like, to another great merchant and to just like hitting foil. We might just get Grey Merchant out of this game, I won't lie to you guys. There's a very good chance we just get Grey Merchant. Oh, oh no. Alright. Blech. This sucks. I'm tempted to brainstorm an instep here. Like, there's a low chance that, like, this is... Oh, gosh. There's a low chance this is getting better. And I also don't really want to... Like, I just want to start moving through my cards. Alright, yeah, let's just put two bonders back. Ooh. All right, so we get a black source. We can, like, disfigure this. We can just do a bunch of stuff. We're going to play Gurmag for sure this turn, I think. We have four, eight. So as long as we use our mana efficiently, we're okay. Mm. Interesting. No blocks, they say. Yep, that's fine. You take five. Um, ponder. Let's, we're going to try to find some foils here. Dispel days. Dispel doesn't do anything. I'm just going to shuffle that. Edict. What does Edict do? Uh, kill something, right? Edict. We put it to six. 
down. Hmm. I don't think edicting actually matters, so we're going to hold off on edicting to ponder again. Uh, I don't think any of these matter. Yes. Evolving wilds. Boop. And we're going to play Gurmag. Gurmag. Two, three, four, five. All right, we got a Gurmag angler. We're done to a lot of things, but I guess it's okay. They have a land, which is good for us. I don't think they want to start shooting us with these stupid witches yet. Although not having disfigure up for the witches so we can just like pick one off is pretty unfortunate. Chainer's Edict. All right, they're doing the second main? Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of Augur. Seems fine. It's a thing to do. I assume that was just like a thing to do. Maybe should have cracked this just to like get rid of their Chainer's Edict. Punt. Um, Preordain. Exhum. Exhum brings back Augur. Bottom, top, crack your thing. Still looking for a foil. Um, we're going to use Augur to try to do that. Man, this is just like so much stuff. I can do all these things. Uh, combat. Oh, no, I just messed up big time. Hmm. I thought I was supposed to go to combat first. Man, I'm bad. Now I can't reanimate. Gosh, this exhum looks so embarrassing. Because like, now they get to block. We can't just like not attack. So now this exhum's dead. I'm real bad. Oh, let me hold back. That sucks. That means we just play an Evolving Wilds then. We better play on that turn, never mind. Uh, yeah, go. Go! I hang my head in shame. Now we have now we don't get the auger to try to find a foil. I thought I was like pretty well locked to win this game. I think I just gave them a chance to win. Um The Hill Spell Bomb. Yeah, well we're not using this exhum anyway. It's a redraw for them. Gosh, I can't believe I screwed that up. I suck. I'm so bad. Well, maybe I should have done it anyway, too. Just, like, trade even with the witches. Like, we're just fine with that. Um, oh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to edict them on end step. Try to get rid of just creatures and then try to kill them. We're going to go for the kill. Is this friendly? It is friendly. It, there's uh, way more people in the friendly league, so, like, I didn't want to deal with, like, egregiously long queue times, so I decided to play the friendly league. Just kidding, I just wanted to play Friendly Leagues anyway. Alright, we're 3 and 1. We're 3 and 1. We've been dumpstering decks that don't have, like, stupid artifacts, 3 bin inspector stuff going on in their deck. Um, but, even those we, like, kind of traded even on games. We got one more match to try to play for the 4 1. We've locked in at 3 3 1. Thanks everybody for hanging out. It's been, we've been live for almost 3 hours now playing Popper, so this is going to be a long video. Big one for YouTube. Hopefully, plenty of Popper content for you Popper fanatics out there. Three and one, three hours in. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to bed before you get to my deck. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying. Hopefully it'll, hopefully your deck will go much faster. Though you're playing a Wilderness Reclamation deck, so there's even no even guarantee there. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stream for the rest of the night. That's fine. We'll just stream forever. Thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Hope everybody's enjoying the contents. Bobber's a neat format. I, wish, I still wish it was more supported. And I'm not actually sure that it needs bans. Like, I don't know. Like, Foil has not felt overly broken, even with Gush. I haven't played against the Blue Black Delver deck, to be fair, but, like, on Goldfish, Blue Black Delver deck's not even the most popular one. And, most popular one. But, um, that, like, that stupid artifact thing is, and, I don't know, that deck looks very impressive in the first two matches. Like, it felt incredibly hard for this deck. And we're, like, a Gush Foil deck, so, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm missing. I don't really see why that's so broken. C is for Cookie is really big on their friendly leagues. They play nothing but Popper, apparently, and have 20 trophies. <laughs> Go, C is for Cookie. We will not have a trophy. Ugh. Almost, almost approaching two minutes. These Q times have been a beating. Coldotha. It has a good blue-black Delver matchup. <laughs> it's really fucking annoying. Yeah, I can see that. I'll probably lose in 30 minutes. That's fair. Apparently, there's, like, maybe some issues with managers and legacy cards. I don't know. I heard something earlier today. We're going to figure it out. Managers are usually really, really good about their customer service, though, so I'm not super worried about it. Oh, man. So, so much popper content. I just have you in the background while playing the Tetris BR. What? Thanks, Rob. I appreciate your support. We're going to be playing some Wilderness Reclamation later, but, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I decided to play Popper first because I was like, eh. I just want to, like, start off with the format I know less about. That way, like, I won't be, like, tired after playing Legacy and trying to figure this format out because that would just be really frustrating and probably bad content. But, man, it has taken, it's taken a long time to get through Popper. I severely underestimated exactly how grindy it would be. Ugh. I'm going to be uploading a three and a half hour video or whatever to freaking YouTube. Oh no, why does it kick over here every single time? Let me see if I can fix that. Alright. We won the die roll. Would you like to be on the play? Would. Would like to be on the play. Look at this. This is just a <laughs> good honest hand. Feels like I'm playing Gates. I'm keeping it. We're going to like play a tap late on turn one and then days picking it up. Feels real good, man. What's, what's my opponent's record? They are one and one. Hopefully we can put them into a square three and, or one and two. All right. So they mold the six. Good for us. They scribe to the top. Mismatched evolving wilds as a tilt. Don't want to reveal what we are. They don't want to reveal what they are. Fine. Keep your secrets. Island. All right. Ding. Probably gonna grab a swamp with this one. Actually, we are just gonna grab a swamp right now. We're grab a swamp because we're looking for an exhum, right? Ponder. Find me an exhum. I wanna do the thing. Gush preordain. Okay, I'm fine with these. Nope. Like, if we're setting up for the mirror or whatever, like, I want access to, like, more card draw. I just want to make sure we can keep the cards moving. Being able to, like, chain cantrips is really powerful. Oh, no, a plain strategy. White, too strong. Boros Garrison, also too strong. Let's see what they play. Nothing. No plays. All right. Well, let's fire off this bird in. I'm going to... Bottom this and maybe top this. Sure. More things in the graveyards. Hard to complain about. Um, probably going to cycle this basic land cycling, this Ash Barrens too. Don't really have anything to do with this black land. Going to try to figure out what my opponent's strategy is. My opponent's strategy is pass. All right. Well, let's go ahead and I guess there's more lands on bottom. That matters more. In a cycle first. Ooh, a Gurmag Angler. That's very interesting. Basic land cycle this. Go grab another island. Island. Boop. Exhum. That's what I call doing it. Exhum. Put my thing into play. Yeah, this one. Uh, let's cast a preordain. See what we can find. More stuff that's good. Not really interested in this brainstorm. Pretty interested in this. Uh, let's keep the cards moving. Yeah, I should have cycled. Uh, I already picked it up. All right. Well, I want the other zoom and I want the auger. So we're good here. We are good. Everything's wonderful. Hopefully, this will be a quick victory and we can move on to legacy. We have lots of five fives. We have days for their four drop. They're about to cast. Oh, yeah. Let's just... Let's just... What if we didn't? 
Well, this is not. Yeah, pick this up. Enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Four mana, two, four. I don't think that's going to be a bunch of five fives. Not an expert. Not an expert on five fives by any means. Although now our exam's bad. Oh, well, we have to remake Angler. Uh, combat. Attack for five. We're going to play Augur plus Exhum. Seems like an okay turn. Play Augur, f I mean Augur plus Angler. We're going to play Augur first. See if we can hit a foil so we know whether or not to play this island. Snuff out. Sure. Any order. Shoot, maybe we should have let them have this and just like taken the Monarch from them. Feels greedy. Boop. One, two, three, four, five, six... Busted Gurmag Anglers. And I think we play the island. We're gonna, like, the question is whether or not we want to hold the island for foil or if we just, like, want to play it out for gosh. I guess we're gonna play it out no matter what for gosh, so maybe that was just dumb. Journey to nowhere. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. We still have a lot of pressure in play, so I'm still pretty okay with them just, like, taking our Gurmag out. It's just another 5 5 we have access to. What's we got? Maybe I'll like zoom anyway and just like try to take the monarch from them. <laughs> just like become the monarch and take it. Feels pretty good. They just conceded. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Well, this is that monarchy deck, which I think is just like a different deck. All right. What do we got? Popper. Uh, what is this, the red white weenie deck? Yeah. They play like four battle screeches. My god, that's so many. This looks like it's trying to try to accomplish the same things. So I think we want nausea. I think we want these. I think we want these. And we probably want these. They're less artifact heavy, so it only hits Journey to Nowhere, really. And any sideboard they might have. Oh man, they have anti-nausea tech. What is that, an enchantment? Yeah, it's an enchantment. What is the ability this thing has? Morph? It's a morph enchantment? Good god. Alright, well, I'm just I'm bringing like one. Because I think having I think having access to snuff out is going to be kind of important in this matchup. Maybe not. Oh my god. Uh, maybe cut two dazes on the draw. I don't want this. I lied. I lied to you all. I do not want it. Um, is this figure actually good? Not really. It does kill Seeker of the way. That's pretty bad. Let's take out this figure. I like Snuff Out. Maybe we don't want four. Because they have a lot of tokens. But like we do want to be able to kill that Monarch guy. Ooh. Definitely one of the cantrips. I think foil is going to be pretty good. I wish they've done the one days. These, these kind of, cutting days this aggressively might just be incorrect, but... Morph enchantment. Yeah, it's some like morph enchantment that has like uh, creatures you control get plus zero plus one. It's more for one and a white. I don't know. I just I just like was looking at a sideboard and apparently that's their anti-nausea attack. It's from Future Sights. It is a spicy meatball. I'll keep. Tan's fine. We got auger. We got stuff. Relic. Sure. Uh, we're going to basic land cycle for a swamp here, turn one. Ooh, we can play our own relic. Ooh. Well, time to go look that up. Yeah, I don't even remember the name of it. What is it called? It's called Lumen Thread Field. I've actually heard of the card before. Just like talking with Zach about weird cards that are in uh, Legacy. All right. Whoa. It's basic line cycle. Go find a swamp. Swamp. And then we get to Augur. Looking for some cantrips here. Our hand's not really not doing a lot. Uh, Nil spell bomb is a cantrip, but it's really bad. 
Uh, brainstorm. Ooh, ooh. I'm in. Go. I don't have a days or a foil. Didn't make me exile my Ash Barons. Bold. Very bold. Ah, they'll, they'll get it now. <laughs> you got it, opponent. Need to find some lands. I want to make some land drops to make this gush really good. Mountain. Another relic. You're serious about this. Oh, we have Echoing Truth. Kind of pick them up. We decide we want to do something about them. Faithless Looting. The best cantrip in modern. Faithless Looting. Alright. Evolving Wilds. Well, with Brainstorm, this is going to be pretty broken. They have three cards in hand, and they discarded a Battle Screech. I guess they're looking... I don't really know why they discarded this. I'm going to hold on to this, though. Let's just do this main phase. Uh, Grimag Angler. Not looking great under two relics, so we'll go ahead and put that and exhume back. Until we find answers to stuff. Kind of just got to grind this game out with, like, multiple relics in play. It's not really a great spot to be in. But there are worse spots, for sure. Um... We'll put the Nihil spell while I'm gonna play. And we'll attack for one. That's fine. I guess they're gonna, they're, they can try to time me out with the relics. That's, that's really the best value they have in this matchup is that like they can time me out. <laughs> totally using this in 21 top. Yeah, the, I don't even know what it costs to cast. Does it even have a casting cost? The uh, Lumen Thread Field? Yeah, that's fine. Apparently we're going to beat down with this and make land drops. Like, my plan is to make land drops and cast their big fat stuff right now because they just have a billion relics and they have nothing else going on. Yeah, it is one and a white. This, but it has, it has a casting cost. Alright, let's, let's clear our brainstorm. Value! Perfect brainstorm and popper! It's like I'm playing Legacy, except there's no Chalice of the Void. Everything's great! <laughs> Exile it! Quick! Opponent! Get rid of it! Why did you not get rid of it? Alright, um... It's Puridane. Let's try to make some more land drops. I shall have fun ponder. I suck. Bottom... Top... Um... We'll play it now! That's a lot of cantrips. I'm here for it. Top... 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 Nope! And then we can we can cycle this. We're just like gonna plan to play a billion cantrips. We're gonna cycle our Nihil spell bomb to get rid of this battle screech and this faithless looting. Probably main phase. Okay. Yeah, I got rid of something. Can I please hit you now. Okay. Got rid of something. Can I please hit you now. Oh, my opponent uses it to catch up on time. They're so smart and thin. Alright, we're going to keep them from flashing back. It looks like their hands aren't really doing anything, so we're going to keep them from flashing back Faithless Looting. Just go ahead and draw the cantrip now. Exile your graveyard, get two flashback things. It's pretty good equity. We'll play the relic. And go. Ooh, this game has played out very strangely. Like, they have multiple relics that aren't doing a ton. <laughs> Need to get the seven lands cast with I mean, you're not kidding. That, like, kind of is my plan right now. Like, they're not doing anything. Um, I'm not really doing anything. Except casting a billion cantrips. So, might as well keep working through the deck. Just thin the deck a bunch and, like, let's play a bunch of lands. Pruden. Oh, I shall have on Ponder again. Why am I so bad? Ooh, both of these cards are very interesting. Um... I think I don't want to draw this yet. I want to make more land drops. Same with this. I drew it anyway. Fine. Ponder. Don't make me shuffle. I want lands. That kind of counts. Um, top. 
top, top. Nope. Draw this. Fetch. Go grab an island. I will cantrip infinity times. Cast Preordain. Try to find some more lands. Cartouche of Ambition. That does increase the clock. <laughs> Seems poor. Get it out. All right, that's a land. I'm happy. I'm happy about it. Down to 37 cards in the library. We have Gush to move through more of them. And we have Gush plus Foil as like a way to like actually interact. It's pretty nice. We made our land drop this turn. We can make our land drop next turn. Blech. The slog. Oh no, a creature. We can't win. <laughs> a creature that draws a card too. It's so good. It's so good. How do we beat it? Uh, I think I'm in like begin to hold up foil forever territory. I'm just gonna leave my graveyard popped out. That way, like I can quickly and easily exile stuff. All right. Well, there it goes. Never mind. <laughs> They're tired of drawing nothing. Their deck of nothing is tired of drawing nothing. Uh, I'm gonna hold this relic. I'm just gonna hold this relic for basically forever. Um, this thins our deck. I'm just gonna pass. Once again, holding up foil plus... We're also kind of holding up Gush, but I think it's a pretty low chance that we actually cast it for 5 mana. Snuff out. Get them dead. The beatdowns. <laughs> Where their windscarred crag is a time walk. <laughs> Seems poor. Seems real poor. All right. Oh, no. The time walk again. We're almost at, like, casting our stuff range. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I am just going to cast this Gush step for 5 mana. Just like tap out, cast it. We're probably going to get Pyroblasted, but pretty fine with that. At least I didn't like pick up lands, right? <laughs> pick up lands just to get blasted. I uh, don't think I want multiple uh, swamps yet. But I do. Yeah, we'll grab it on the last one. Boop. Cast. Draw two cards, please. I'm going to attempt a divination at instant speed. Get Pyroblasted. I imagine if their hand is doing like a whole lot of nothing that it makes sense that they have power blast. Alright, well. My turn. Five six. We have the requisite mana to cast Gurmag Angler. But we actually don't have the Gurmag Angler. We have the Cartouche of Ambition. We can start beating down! Beating down, chat! Alright. Blech. This sucks. Um, Preordain. Ooh, ooh! I like both of these cards. Uh, top, top. Man, I really want to gush. Talk me out of gushing. Blech. All right, let's just play my Evolving Wilds. Let's be good. Let's be... Pretend we're decent at this game. We're, we're going to try to assemble our thing plus thing with Counterspell Backup. This is all fine. We should just be patient. Because, like, we're close to, we're close to um, Snake into Cartouche with all with Foil Backup because we have Gush. So, like, they have seven cards, but that's fine. What is this? This looks like something I would like to counterspell. Uh, cast. Target that. Stop it! Go away! They got a power blast? They do have a power blast. That's gross. Um, Alright. Well, we have an Echoing Truth. Create your 1-1s, one and then they can flash it back. If they don't flash it back right away, we're just going to crack it. Yep. That makes sense. Ugh. This card's annoying. But that's okay. We have Echoing Truth to pick, clean it all up. Um, and we're going to draw a card with Relic to get Snake into play. Why are you playing so slow? Oh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. 
So now we crack this. Exile Relic Maginus, draw a card. Down to 32 cards in deck, which of course matters. Grab a swamp. Grab the second swamp, makes makes a lot of sense here. So we can Gurmag plus Cartouche in the same turn if we need to. Ponder. Um, so we can go in Echoing Truth now. Feels okay. I don't know. I feel like if we were taking this line, we we're supposed to just like play this stupid uh, river winder. All right, I'm just, I'm just cast it. We're casting it because like next turn we can cartouche and we can um, echoing truth, which is just really attractive. And like taking a hit for four is fine if we're gonna gain a billion life a turn with cartouche. This all makes sense. All right, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> They've realized that the relic no longer has equity if I am hard casting my creatures. That is very fair, opponent. Very fair. Faithless looting makes a lot of sense. Discard two lands. The value. How many power bosses have they been through? They've been through two. Kind of almost just like don't even want to care about this and just like sleeve up like suit up cartouche and like not care about these at all all right i think i might just do that hmm like cartouche put the counter here attack and then we can always just like echo and truth whenever but like i'm trying to find counter spell backup for it auger that's pretty good cartouche this Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if they've realized they can probably no longer win this game. Alright. Yes. Combat. Boop, boop. We can raise these 1-1s. One what is this? Prevent all the damage. Oh, it's this card again. Tilt. Right. Um, auger. Oh, wait, I can't. We're still in combat. <sighs> Alright, this doesn't do anything. They have the stupid prismatic strands, which is pretty frustrating. Auger. Do we have foil I can grab? Nausea. Well, that's pretty good. I'll take a nausea. Any order. Go. I mean, I'm taking another hit for four. Might just echoing truth anyway and hold the nausea for the next one. I think I'm gonna do that. I think we're just gonna echoing truth here, just to save four, four. Try to save four life. And if it doesn't work, then whatever. If it doesn't work, then I don't really care that much. We could just hold this nausea forever. Because they still have, uh, they're still a Squadron Hawk deck. Yeah, there we go. Now they just, like, doesn't do a ton. Circle of Protection, blue. Huh. I guess that stops this, huh? Alright, well, let's try to find a foil. Hey, that's a foil. Alright, I'll take it. Um... Not in love with the multiple snuffed outs. We're owning. We found the foil. All right. Don't have more of those, please. That's pretty gross. Cop blue. Where are you in life that you're playing cop blue? It stops this thing. That's so frustrating. Man. It's hard out here. How many foils are left in our deck? I think the answer is like two. Have another one? Please don't have another one. Flashback looting. I could beat flashback looting. Yeah, I think we have two. Wait, no, we have one foil left in our deck? Crap. Crap. Cop blue seems quite unbeatable. We should definitely have brought in an all. No, I did bring in one, right? Did I bring in one? Oh, I brought in none. I'm such a potato. Rally the peasants. All right. Oh. <sighs> I think we're 
gonna pay for, and we're going to kill this on this dub. All right, yeah. No, we can get through for eight, which is pretty nice. And we get to gain six, which is also pretty nice. Echoing decay is also nice. Everything's nice. Nice. Attack for a billion. All right, and let's ponder. Gurmag angler, Gurmag angler. Top, top, top. All right, no. Uh. Gurmag. Pay a million mana. We're gonna cast some Gurmags. One, two. Here's a Gurmag. Go! Don't wrath me. We can now beat a cop blue. <laughs> Journey to Nowhere. Fine, you got it. I have another one where that came from. You've already discarded two Journey to Nowheres, too? What a savage. My opponent, the savage. Well, we have multiple very clean answers to Squadron Hawk. So, pretty okay with this Squadron Hawk thing happening. I imagine they're probably going to try to run them out one at a time. But, that's alright. Three Squadron Hawks. Oh, they can looting them away? That's disgusting. That's such good value. Looting away two squadron hawks. Grimag Angler. Combat. Oh, no, I may have messed this up. Oh, well. Because they can, like, do the tappy thing. Uh, uh, uh. They can flashback the thing. They have Rally the Peasants. They have all these flashback spells. Man, they're, they're such a graveyard deck. We're so smart for leaving all of our graveyard interaction in. We still have one piece left in the deck. Alright, this doesn't do anything. They have five cards in hand, three of which are Squadron Hawk. Uh, cast this. Pay four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Alright, we're going to leave up that going decay. So that we can just like kill all of the squadron hawks on instep and just like try to get a hit in for lethal. Um, if they have prismatic strands, they have prismatic strands, but I don't want to like give them the opportunity to. Flashback looting. Yep, wish I could counter that, but I can't. Uh, please die! Please be dead! Please be die! Mini mana five fives. Oh yeah, these five fives, they're uh, they're not cheap. They're not cheap by any means. Please just die to this. Let the slog end. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. This, is, this game's a lifelink. That's kind of gross. Rally the peasants. This is an instant, right? Creature G control it plus two plus zero. They just conceded. <laughs> we did it! We four one. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That took what? Three hours and fifteen minutes. I was fifteen minutes off how long that should take. What on earth? So the, I played against like four red decks and didn't bring in Hydro Blast once. Can we talk about why that card's in the sideboard? As a four of? Alright, whatever. Um foil's broken. We should be playing four. Like, as just four mana counterspell, it's fine. Speaking of, why are we playing blue blue counterspell? Like, this deck kind of felt like it was designed to grind with these other grindy decks. And, like, multiple times I wanted counterspell. I think the sideboard needs counterspell. I had a bunch of nonsense I didn't really care about, and I just, like, literally wanted the card blue blue counterspell. Like, I think this deck really wants that. Um, I think that this card's broken. I want another one somewhere in my sideboard. Um, uh, I think. Snuff Out was good. I like Snuff Out. It was, like, fine. I didn't really want three all the time, but I guess they're easy cuts. Like, the format's just not as fast as I was anticipating going in. Um, I like the three gushes. I didn't really feel myself wanting that many more. Maybe we don't even want the fourth foil, but I definitely want another one of these cards. I definitely want the card Counterspell in my sideboard, at least. It kind of it feels like it's, like, kind of goofy to say, like, put the card Counterspell in my sideboard, but, like, I, there's multiple times, like, against that blue-black control deck I wanted it, against that initial deck I think I wanted it. Um, I would have brought some number in. I don't know how many I actually want. Probably like two, three, somewhere in there. Um, but like, I just wanted like things that answered like 
X3s, X4s, like, pretty cleanly, or just, like, big spells that weren't just foil. Um, the card counter spell is pretty good. So, that's my take on the deck. The deck felt fine. Uh, there's a lot of graveyard hate in the format, despite the fact it doesn't look like there's even that many graveyard decks. There's, like, there's not as, a lot of Nihil spell mobs running around. So, I like an all a lot, but maybe we're supposed to have some kind of, like, better answer. Like, trying to Echoing Truth it to pick it up is, like, pretty bad. So... I don't know. That's just... I think that's my take on the deck. Um, I don't know. My first dive into Popper. Format seems really grindy. Seems like a lot of fun. Not sure if it's not sure if it's good for streaming, considering how long it takes. But uh, this deck felt sweet. It was like, did a lot of neat things. And, like, having this plus this plus, like, these things was pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. If you uh, have guys stuck around the whole time, I really appreciate it. Uh, really appreciate everybody that has uh, slogged through all of this. We're going to be moving to Legacy now. Um, but if you're here watching on YouTube, that will conclude this video. Um, before I go, though, got to show a little bit. If you have been watching on YouTube and you appreciate the content, then jam that subscribe button. It's the easiest way to support me on YouTube, and we'll let you know when I go live. If you're here watching on Twitch and you have not yet hit that follow button, you appreciate the content, please jam that follow button. What's up, Tannen? Popper open in second half. You heard it here first. There's no way. I refuse. I would love... For there to be a popper open tannin, but well, Watsi hasn't supported it, um, so I don't think there will. I don't think there will be. Um, anyways, tannin interrupted by shilling. Uh, below me, the entire time there has been sponsors that sponsored both Team Nova and this stream. You can find links to all of their websites in the description on the YouTube uh, the YouTube video, and you can find it in the panels below here on Twitch. There's links to all of their stuff. Uh, Manitraders.com could not do it without them. Uh, they lend me all the cards I need to stream, and they are just a fantastic service. I use their paper rentals as well. Their paper rentals is also fantastic. They are just honestly a home run. Highly recommend for any competitive Magic players out there. You can use the code TEAMNOVAMTG to get 15% off your first three months. And there is a referral link, like I said in the description below, that you can use that helps support us a little bit if you use that referral link. Just kind of let you know that you came from us. Um, what's up? <laughs> below me. Got to ban Gush first. Yeah, they probably do have to ban Gush. Um, where was I? Inkling Customs. She does all the artwork for Team Nova. She did the Team Nova logo and the playmats, which I have confirmed are going to be, we're going to have them out this weekend. So, uh, probably we'll make a post about that in the future. Anyway, she does fantastic work. Her tokens are great. She did all the tokens for the Plat Pros too. So she's awesome. Buy her stuff, support her art. She's fantastic. And we want her to keep following uh, the SCG tour around so that everyone can use her fantastic stuff. So we appreciate her as a sponsor. There's a link in the panels and the description below to check out her tokens you can just buy her stuff online it's great uh the end games is a store in charlottesville that supports team nova they uh have lent us cards in the past and a couple of the locals there uh use the frequent stop regularly so if you go in the shop you know support your local your local game store and five boxes from them there is a website they have their own website which is pretty nice it's pretty good ui um and uh just check out their wares good way to uh, support me without spending any money just like check their stuff out see what see what they have to offer um they're uh, very nice of them to support team nova and we appreciate the support and last but not least hipsters of the coast this is a content production website i actually wrote an article for them myself recently i wrote a guide on nexus of gates which we've had a couple people pop in and uh give me a shout out for and i really appreciate that appreciate everybody for uh, mentioning that but uh yeah they, they Easy way to support me, not spending money. They produce fantastic content. There's multiple podcasts. There's multiple articles you can go up there and read. They have multiple, they have a bunch of sweet merch too. Their logo looks great. So I highly recommend their stuff. And uh, make sure you check out their stuff. Help support me. And I really appreciate all of your support. Thank you.